Y'all, she holding on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, you ain't about to be hyped up in my reading eating that cupcake. I should just turn this light off. Hey, I already got someone here. Hey, Angel Eyes. Hey, Pammy. Namaste. So I got a filter on. It's like a low light filter. Kind of like it. Hey, little, little D's. <laughs> So I'm like feeling a bunch of project projections. Some of y'all could have been absorbing a lot of projections. Like people, those projections were people like projecting onto you basically. All right, if you guys like, um, if y'all create content around like angel messages, okay, someone was projecting on like your angel messages, trying to say like those aren't angels or those not messages from angels. Y'all can receive messages and downloads from your angels outside of you posting content and someone was trying to say like that's not angels or that's not angel work. Someone also, someone is also projecting like, huh, what you said, I didn't hear you, what you said about me. Like they're projecting it, but they're not coming to you about it because they know they're not. Saying, okay, glad that you're back. So yeah, I'm feeling like, a, like a, you y'all was like, y'all could have been absorbing a bunch of projections. Okay, and this is these projections are like energy that's not yours. Okay, and y'all had to figure out it was just a projection. Some of y'all didn't even realize it was a projection. You just felt like something was like stuck or attached to you. You didn't realize it was a projection. Like someone was projecting onto you a lot. If y'all do create content, they was even projecting for you not to get any views. Like they, they don't want you to get any viewership. We've talked about this before. They're still on that mindset. So... Let's go ahead and get started. Mom. Yeah, someone is saying that, um, who is saying, someone is saying this about you guys, but they could be saying this about me too, that y'all come out with, like, the same message, or, like, this message could be, like, you say the same thing about them. Can you play daycare story? Like, you keep saying the same thing about them, like, you always say the same thing, it's nothing different, mm -hmm. okay, or if you, y'all create messages... Not create what well, y'all, um, somebody may be thinking like you're creating messages. Like, no, that's not what it is. You're not creating messages. If you guys, um, create content around the messages you receive, they're trying to say like they, that you get the same message when really it's the same message about them. So a bunch of people could have been judging and projecting onto you saying like, you know, you, um, get the same message all the time or something like that. That was just not your energy. And y'all could have been absorbing it like it was yours. Like, you keep getting the same message. You know, maybe something ain't for you. For you. So, yeah. A bunch of people coming in. I got 10 likes. <laughs> Let's get the likes up. I guess the likes will go up on its own. Shh. Don't be loud. So, Yeah. Y'all are, like, very spontaneous, and people were projecting, like, you know, you can't do this, okay? Or you can't, you know, be in whatever energy that you, you know, claim that you want to be in. And, like, you can't be in that energy. Thank you for liking the live. <laughs> Thank y'all for the likes. Thank you. Hey, Katy Perry. Yeah, this could have been a friend that was projecting to hold you back. All right? A lot of y'all could have been confused about these projections. Like, these projections was coming from, like... I'm getting, like, feelings. Like, people, how they felt towards you was just a projection. Like, yeah, I was feeling all these, like, harsh feelings a person had for you. But it was just a projection. Like, it was not even real. Someone could be trying to, like, hide away these projections so you won't see it as a projection. So someone knows that they're projecting and they don't want you to see the projection. Someone could be projecting with spells. Okay, they constantly projecting spells in your life. But the fucking spells is being projected back into their life. It's like someone cannot hear spirit, but they're pretending to, like, hear and listen to spirit. All right, and somebody around you was saying, like, you're pretending to hear and listen to spirit. That's what I was saying. Like, someone could have been trying to confuse you about your angel messages, your angel numbers as well. Okay. But let's see what comes out for you guys. I'm feeling like a... Uh, what? I feel like somebody wants y'all to be rooted, too. Someone wants you to be stiff. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm getting like a stiff vibe. Like someone is stiff or someone wants your energy to be stiff. Okay? So you'll like let go of your yeah. abundance? Come here, Mom, to help me guys. Hold on. Mom, can you help me to solve No, I mean, I'm reading right now. I can't help you with that. Yeah, move forward. I feel like someone wants you to move forward in a way where like you'll lose, let go of your abundance. You wouldn't want to be abundant anymore. Somebody wanted you to be stiff so you won't like so you won't be abundant. I guess your energy being free, spontaneous is what's helping you attract abundance, but they rather you be stiff. Like somebody wanted you to be like, you know, like I can't even I'm, I can't even say what I'm hearing. Okay, but yeah, let me just let me just keep going. All right, we have love. Oh wow, you guys have a lot of love. You could have gave this person a bunch of love, and they took that and gave you a bunch of darkness, a bunch of hate, hatred. It's like a lot of you guys, you know, you could be, you know, feeling confused about why these people feel this way about you because you have a lot of love to give. You are a being of love. Now, with that love, that's giving me, like, innocence. Like, certain people may try to confuse you purposely because they see that you're innocent. And, you know, you may not... And I'm also getting naive energy, too. Like, y'all may be naive to um, to certain things, all right? Naive about certain things. And certain people, like, you know, they play tricks on your mind, all right? By confusing you about certain shit to make you think and believe the confusion, all right? Like, someone may know that you're naive, but it's not like you're naive, naive, but you may believe certain people giving them the benefit of the doubt, okay? It's it's just because you have a loving spirit, okay? You're a loving, kind person, so you don't project, like, someone's lying to you, someone is trying to trick you, because that's not how you operate. That's not how you do things. Hey, Bianca. Your love is abundance I'm getting as well. Like, a lot of you guys, you don't need whatever these karmas claim they need, all right, to be abundant. All you really need is love. So that could have been, like, them trying to make you let go of the love that you have in your heart. Because I feel like the love that you have in your heart is also attracting abundance for you, too. Like, financial abundance, uh, tangible abundance, gold. Like, you have a golden heart. So, of course, you're going to receive nothing but gold. But there was someone around you trying to change you, so you won't be that way again. They wanted you to let go of your loving side. Love is helping you attract abundance. Like the love that you have in your heart for like, not just yourself, but for the, for the world, for people, your lighthearted heart, your heart-lighted heart is what's helping you attract abundance. This is why your needs are met. This is why you're able to receive what it is that you want because of your heart. Your heart is love. But they wanted you to let go of that. Okay, yeah, they wanted you to turn away from your loving heart. They wanted you to go with the flow of negativity. All right, you you start committing crime. You start doing criminal shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, for the 2K likes already. Somebody playing 2K? All right, yeah, listen, y'all trusted the wrong people. Or the wrong person. And once you realize that you trusted the wrong person, you all right, you decided to let them go. Okay? You mistrust this person. You thought you can trust them, but you could not. Okay? And they mistrust you. They thought they couldn't trust you, but you could be trusted. There's a karmic. They kind of want... I feel like they want to look just like you as far as, like, your beauty. The, the light that's attached to your beauty. Like, they may look in the mirror and maybe, like, you know, I do like how I look. But they want to have certain features as you. Or they want to be looked upon how people look at you. All right. People look at you as, you know, light. All right. Beautiful. Okay. A goddess energy. So she made, she, this is a Jezebel watching you wanting to be in God's energy like you. That That's why she's mimicking you and, and watching you guys, copying you because she wants to be in God's energy too. Yeah. This was a friend that could have been mimicking and copying off of your abundance, your abundant attitude, I should say. I feel like they was also trying to copy off of your abundance by saying, like, I got abundance, too. You see, I got this, too. You see? Like, that. This, like, this was a friend that you could not trust. You had to let this friend go. Okay? And this friend, I don't know. Please. 
this friend may not have expected for her energy to get exposed. I feel like she, you know, she wanted your abundance. This friend may try to come off as abundant, but it's untrue. I feel like you, you gave the friendship abundance, okay? You gave the friendship a, an, an abundant vibe, okay? That abundance is just like lively energy, good energy. Abundance is not just money. Abundance could, could be good energy, all right? Something that makes you pleasurable, enjoyable, all right? You could even gave this friend money. You could have gave her energy, which was abundance, okay? Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the rose. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, yeah, we reached our goal already. I got to set better goals. Oh, these goals are fine, though, but I need to set a better, a different one. But I forgot how to set goals, y'all. I really did. Oh, no, set new goal. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> Mom, can you play Obby? Yeah, I did change it. Can you play Obby, please? Hmm. Yeah, that abundance energy is positivity that you always gave. You always gave this karmic positivity. I'm seeing the plus sign. That's positivity. You always gave this friend positivity. All right, yeah. And listen, then I said they wanted you to be like stiff. Like you have a stick up your butt, okay? It's because you have a free spirit. You're spontaneous. Yeah, you broke free. From the past that was restricting you, the 3D, all right? And you're heading towards the 5D, the future. So now this friend is communicating those type of things too. I want to head towards the 5D. I want to be in a more lighthearted energy. I want to be more light. She may even call or he may call, hit you and be like, hey, how can I be more enlightened? How can I, you know, receive more light? Thank you so much for the shares. All right, they're, pretty, they're trying to figure that out. Yeah, you listen, your love is positivity. You gave this friend real, genuine love. And I feel like she she can't see your love as positivity. She can't see as a positive person because she's jealous. She may have some material shit. A lot of material stuff. Clothes, jewelry, a car. All right, bundles of hair. But she's just not abundant in spirit. It's like she can't obtain the things that she need in the spirit. And she can't go to the spirit to obtain what she need in the physical. She actually have to go out in the physical to make it happen. It's like you guys put out positivity and positivity is sent back towards you from the heavens. Which is how you're able to manifest and unfold abundance. This friend may want to be your friend again. But it's too late. Y'all trusted the wrong friend. That's just what it is. This friend want to, want to block and stop and mess up. You seeing everything about her. But she may also want to come back in your energy as a friend. No, all right, and you could have definitely protected yourself from her evil eye. And now your evil eye protection is 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 fucking casting her ass away. Yeah, ain't much people here here today. Fifteen views. I mean that's fine, but um, I was thinking about coming on later. But thank you for sharing. I mean, it's not a. I, when I feel like my views is low, I feel like it's because someone is trying to suppress my content. That's what I always feel. I'm not feeling like it's a natural thing. I feel like someone is trying to keep me suppressed. Okay, yeah, you should move out of her house if she's doing evil to you. All right, somebody with this mystery and decision, someone don't know what decision to make. That could be you guys, okay? Or someone's trying to hinder you from making like a a a bright decision. They want you to like keep making the wrong decision. Like, it was your choice, obviously, right? To treat these people with love and light. And just like it was their choice to teach you with darkness. Right? Same here. Because I was thinking about coming out and restarting. Because I did that before and that helped. But I began reporting too. But it's it's fine. It's all good. This is someone that's trying to say, oh, you decided to being in love and this is the consequences you do, you you get for being in like a love frequency like you have to deal with evil like someone trying to say you chose to be of love and light well you know i'm gonna you know i'm gonna deal with your love and light you know the right way which is like hindering your love and light attacking your love and light they're like oh you made this decision you chose to be of light so you know i'm gonna be of darkness now and take you down it's it's weird how they're trying to use that against you and it, it does not make sense like how is you being in love and light hurting and affecting them? How is that something that's bad? How is that something wrong? Yeah, they're trying to um 
block your inner knowing. With this mystery and inner knowing, you won't really know what's going on. Like, your intuition will let you know, yeah, this friend could have been doing voodoo to block your intuition. And she got some nerve to think she can come in your energy and try to be your friend. Like, that shit could have really affected you. That shit may still be affecting you now. Like, she needs to be punched in the face. Nothing to reality. Like, y'all was too gentle with this friend. I will curse her the fuck out. Like, bitch, get the fuck out of my energy. All right? Like, you know, I accepted what you did to me. Now you need to accept what you did to me. And fucking close the door on her ass and re-energize re yourself because her even coming to you in a Facebook message is draining your energy. She she got spirits on her that's draining her. So now she needs you. Oh, thank you for the good afternoon. Oh, thanks. Let me set a new goal. That's the same one. That's the same one. Oh, this is a subscriber goal. Okay, let's get five new subscribers. And let's do the rolls again. This is fun. Yeah, this karmic, they really don't know what to say or they really don't have much to say to you, but they know that you know what's going on. So they're doing a lot of, um, like, I'm getting what, deep, deep root work. So they were trying to, with that deep root work, they were trying to really dive deep or like drill deep in your energy to, to knock out your inner knowing. All right. And they was doing like heavy ass spells, root work rituals to make this manifest. Yeah, oh wow, the card's upside down. No. This karmic cannot relax. They're dealing with a lot of anxiety, and that's the truth, because this was in reverse. They can't relax or think straight. They're dealing with anxiety, and that's because they was hoping for you to deal with anxiety. This is a bad friend. For some of you guys, this wasn't even like... For some of you guys, it wasn't your friend. It was just... It was someone that wanted to be your friend or become your friend, but... They couldn't, like, take your energy. Like, they felt like, you know, I would be her friend, but da-da-da-da. But, like, how to... Like, I'm trying to... Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why they getting your energy then. If this is someone that's like, for some of you guys, they're saying, like, I'm not your friend. I ain't your friend. This probably was not a friend. But that's what I'm hearing them say subconsciously. Like, y'all wasn't friends. But maybe y'all, like, known each other. Y'all knew of each other. And maybe you thought that y'all could be friends. Okay? Maybe this was something that had the potential. Y'all had the potential to become friends. But then she instantly was like, oh, or he was like, you know, she ain't my friend. I would never be her friend. I would never fuck with her. Like, that type of vibe. But for some of you guys, this could have been a friend. All right, as well. Like, someone was projecting a lot, like, we ain't friends. I ain't your friend. We ain't got to be friends. You know, we ain't got to know each other like they go get to know each other, like that type of energy. And then they trying to make it seem like that was you guys. Like, y'all was on that type of vibe. Like, oh, you project, like, you want to be friends or want to be cool, but they was projecting that onto you. I'm hearing them say, we ain't friends. Y'all may not be. Listen, y'all ain't friends now. That's what this karmic is going around saying. If this was your friend, they're telling people, we ain't friends. And she's heard about it because she know what she did. Or this is someone that, like, wanted to be your friend. But it's like they can't come towards you and want to be your friend because they was all in your energy projecting and doing low vibrational shit. Like, this could have been someone behind your back always watching you, peeping what you're doing. They're, like, thinking of a way to come in your energy. But they done fucked around and found out and now they scared to come towards you and but like like i said some of y'all y'all was never friends this is someone that was just being nosy in your energy for someone else and now they want to come in and, and be like you know we could be friends we could be cool i could be her friend you know that's good y'all keep moving your energy they don't want my views to go up and they don't want y'all views to go up too if y'all create content they want y'all to lose y'all followers y'all may gain a follower every day or they're watching like every day you gain a follower. Even if you lose a follower, they're watching that. They want to like keep up with your status and analytics. Your your analytics, yeah, they really want to keep up with that. They want to see if your analytics is actually growing. Someone could be trying to hack into your system, all right, to see your analytics. I'm getting your sister. Someone could be trying to hack into your sister's account, okay, or you could be the sister, all right. You could be someone's sister and they're trying to someone trying to hack into your account. Someone also um, is about to face a, ch a judge, but they don't want to. Someone don't want to face judgment. And someone is, af is afraid of, of someone judging them. Like, that's one way of them facing their judgment is someone, like, judging them. Like, they're afraid to face that. Oh, wow. Are you watching? 
<laughs> oh, but um, give me some hearts. <laughs> and then they would tell you like you need to relax. Like, but like for some of y'all, I don't think you. This Carmen trying to say you can't. I don't know. For some of y'all, you could have came at them arguing and fighting, but it wasn't like that. You could have came at them with like attitude. All right, because you got tired of dealing with their shit. They acting like your attitude wasn't justified. They're so entitled. They feel like you shouldn't have an attitude with them. Okay? But they was trying to say, like, you need to relax. Okay? You, or they will say things like, you too karmic. You need to calm and relax your mind. You're too, like, mad or you're too karmic. Like, somebody say you too karmic. Whenever you, like, whenever you get mad, they will say you're too karmic. Like, what is that? Like, it's a saying. Okay? But I don't... They'll victimize you guys, basically, right? Victimize you and make you feel like, you know, you're crazy. Hold on one second. Hold on. Like you're a victim of like, come on. Yeah, they'll make it seem like you're. I guess you're a victim of anger management, or you are a karmic. Okay. Yay! Thank you for the crown, babe. Thank you for the friendship necklace. Oh, my baby is gifting me. I gotta gift him now. <laughs> Thank you. Let me use my little money and gift him. Yeah, I'll say you're argumentative, you like to fight and argue, like make it seem like you're a victim of these things. Like it was bullying, you guys. They it, it was bullying y'all at its finest. Like every like they'll make it seem like you coming at them, rah rah ray ray, and, and you were just being honest. Like of course you'll have an attitude because they coming at you with bullshit. Like these people, man, yo, oh my gosh, y'all I just felt it like there is beyond entitlement. Like they play victim a lot. Oh, thank you. Look, he just gifted me. Thank you. <laughs> I love my man. <laughs> y'all follow him. And y'all check out his TikTok. Because he is definitely blessing me right now. But yeah, they were like, y'all, they will play victim and say that you're a victim of. Okay. <laughs> That's what they would do. I don't I don't like that. Like they would like they would just be like, Well, you're karmic. Like, I don't like that. That's like weak mentality right now. Oh tiny diny. That's weak mentality, you guys. Uh uh. You're you was innocent. Y'all got attacked and antagonized for no reason. I feel like they don't want y'all to see like it's victim victimizing, like they was victimizing you guys. All right, then they was playing victim and then have a victim mentality. There's a lot of victim energy, a lot of victim mentality. They was very much playing victim. All right, this could have been an ex too working with a friend of yours, okay? That's like very popular, all right? These friends and exes working together. Or your ex had a friend that was working with him to take you down, okay? This is really sad. They were like, relax. Like, they're, they're like, the truth is you need to relax. The truth is you're a victim of abuse. You are a victim. Oh yeah, we reached another goal. They were like, truth is, you are you are a victim. Like you need hope, you know. And this karmic ex was saying you need him to survive. Like to be honest, you need his energy. He kept you safe and protected. If it wasn't for him, you won't have no safety or protection. And he also said, for some of you guys, he said his ancestors gonna make sure that you receive no more protection because you used him for protection. Okay, he snapped like that. The snap, okay, because he he really he really said something. Okay, he really snapped on that one. You snap, baby boy. You snap, okay. <laughs> you snapped on that one. All right, the answers are gonna check us. Show is. <laughs> I'm I'm listen. 
that's how they feel but the spirit has been communicating to them that they need to move on it's like this is someone this is someone they're also trying to say like they're afraid for you like they're afraid for the spirits to come for you because they know you want a die well thank you for the rose babe like I, my whole thing is why hold on to you if they know you want a die and you did all these things to them like you don't you deserve like you don't deserve the die but whatever their ancestors have in store for you don't you deserve that since you guys hurt them so why the hell why are they holding on it's like it's, it's, an, it's an excuse and that's more antagonizing you know like you know i, I would you know i i would let you go but i don't want the, my ancestors to fuck you up so bad so i'm holding on to you just a bit just so they can so, show you mercy like what's the point of that then you still antagonizing me and harassing me even more like, you know, you need to get out of my energy. Like, this is someone that's trying to say, like, you need help. You need to ask for help. Your mental space need help. Like, just to antagonize you guys. Just to make you not see the light. And then, then I I see it. Not just, when I say I feel things, it's not me. It's not my opinion. It's me feeling things. I'm an empath. And I feel they was attacking your crown chakra. And they don't want you to see that or know that. I feel like this was a friend, a karmic friend, and a, and a karmic ex. They could have both been working together or it's separate. You have both a friend and a karmic ex in your energy, attacking your abundance, attacking your love and light spirit, trying to make you let go and detach from the current mindset you have, even that knowing who you are. All right, they wanted you to trust them so they can go ahead and, and um do some distrusting shit. All right, and this, this definitely could have been a friend or someone who you decided to love. Okay, because what it says, love and decision, you decide to love this person. And they're trying to say, you're not the truth, you're not a light worker or a truth worker, whatever the fuck worker they want to say you are. Like, you guys got a lot of supporters. And these supporters are like, these these could be people online supporting you at work. Or these could be spirit guys, beings of light, support of light, supporting you, right? And yes, your spirit guys are showing you a bunch of gratitude right now. And you guys receive a lot of support from people that, that show you gratitude. And it's a magical moment when this support and gratitude comes in. Like when the positive energy is here, it's magical. So this devil want to always come in and try to ruin those magical moments. I promise y'all. Even if y'all create content going live, I felt like a bit like... um. Like, nervous energy when I was giving giving y'all that download about, like, the angel message. Like, they want you to feel nervous about giving, like, like by giving them, by feel nervous about giving them an angel message. Like, you could have gave this person an angel message, and you could have felt really nervous. That was them projecting, like, you know, let's see what you're going to pick about me. Let's see if you're going to pick up the truth about me. Let's see if you really know what's going on. Like, and you felt that, and it could have made you nervous because, again, that's them being antagonistic. Like, this is someone, they just, they're, they are the antagonist in your life. I said this before, and I'm saying it again. They play the antagonistic role in your life. Thank you for the shares, God conscious. They are the antagonist in your life. All right? Uh-uh. Y'all don't need to be um trusting this person at all. Thank you for the shares. Hey, Jazz. I mean, Sass. Thank you. For some of you guys, they did call on their ancestors. Okay? If you feel that's for you, then that's for you. That's not for everyone. But I feel like your energy is very magical. And, and it brings blessings. Your magic is blessings. Understand that. And, you know, I said this for one of y'all in the personals. And, you know, it's coming out collectively, too. I said this today. That your spirit guide, just your spirit guide, your spirit team is not blessing them. It's like among all the people that's around you or was around you, <laughs> they feel like they're the only ones that didn't get no blessings. But they always trying to block you and you're, thank you for the rose, thank you for the roses. They always trying to block your spontaneous energy. You block you from dreaming. This be spontaneous and dreaming could be you manifesting your dreams into a reality, right? And you could also be trusting the messages you see in your dreams. They want you to be content with what you got in life already. Like, don't go out and try to make more greatness for yourself. Like, just be happy with what you got. Be happy with what you got. And that's it. You got a house. You got a car. You're like, be happy with that. Why well, you got to manifest more. Thank y'all for the roses. Thank y'all so much. They, listen, they, oh my God, I feel like some, I don't, why they want this to come from me? Somebody wants y'all to feel for me like I don't deserve these gifts or roses. That y'all going y'all never gonna feel that for me. That's coming from a karmic that's attacking me because they're weird and crazy as fuck. All right, they're not content with their life. They're in discontent. All right, yeah, like somebody wants you to feel like you know, you should be happy with what you got, with with what you got. But you are happy and content, and you about to receive even more miracles. 
Yes, you are content. You about to receive even more miracles. And they're like, damn, how the fuck? Why the fuck? Okay, like I thought this, that, and the third. Like, and they trying to figure out how you get these. Thank you. How you getting all these damn blessings? It's a mystery. And they actually contemplating on this damn mystery. All right. And it's like I said, this could have been a friend trying to copy your flow. But I'm getting an angry ex right now. The energy is like flip flopping from friend to ex, friend to ex. All right. And this friend, they don't want you to know that they was the friend in y'all energy. Understand that. Okay. Maybe that's why they're trying to put on, like, you know, I was never her friend. We was never cool. But they could have spoken to you before. They could have did. They could have definitely spoke positive about you before. Up until whatever you did that triggered them. And you did not purposely try to trigger them. You were just being yourself. Okay. But, yeah. They, they, so, they're like, I'm going to go with the flow of divine feminine and masculine. If they pray, I'm going to pray. You know, they got an inner knowing. I'm going to tap into my divine inner knowing. And I feel like their own higher self, their own crown turned away from them. Because they got demons. They're still attached to their demons. This person may think their higher self and their demons are one and connected. Go ahead. Think that. But they're still waiting to receive the energy you're receiving, to receive the downloads you receive, to see, you know, the metaphysical from your eyes. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the lightning. Thank you for the confetti, babe. Yeah, fake spiritual. Oh, wow. You guys are blessing me right now with these gifts. I'm about to cry. Thank you for the 35 lightning bolts. Thank you for the five heart puffs. Like, it does overwhelm me when I get all these gifts because it's like, not overwhelming in a bad way, but it's like I'm receiving so much and you're just like, oh my God, thank you. I don't know how to feel besides grateful. <laughs> I hope, like, my thank yous are, are enough because words really can't describe how those gifts make me feel. I really do feel special. Yeah, I make me feel special with those gifts. Thank you. But let me keep going. Oh, you see, y'all sending me more. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, yes, title gifter. She deserved that. Gift it up. <laughs> That's what it says right there. Gift it up. <laughs> Thank you. Let me keep going. More 35 roses. That was beautiful. God bless you. I send that back times 35. Thank you, babe, for the lightning. But um, yeah, we have gentleness and acceptance. Okay, yeah, I feel like y'all was gentle with this karmic energy like i said again and it's time for y'all to just accept like you know i was way too nice to this person i'm being way too nice if they ever if they dare to come back in your energy with the bullshit like i said you need to tell them about themselves and tell them to fuck off oh thank you for the um gg babe and thank you for the five roses lady oh my god thank you oh i deserve it thank you y'all deserve it y'all deserve these gifts right back y'all deserve these messages to come out <laughs> y'all deserve the blessings that they're trying to take from y'all y'all deserve all that because it's yours yeah but man i'm about to tap this friend don't want me to tap into energy she is like i feel like she's afraid scared and she hates when people is just able to tap into her energy and just expose her all right but she can't like the thing is she's mad that she can't tap into your energy and expose you if you had something to be exposed maybe she'll be able to do that but you didn't first of all you didn't do nothing to her so she has no reason to be in your energy anyway whatever skeletons you got have nothing to do with her and have nothing to do with anybody else these skeletons could be your own insecurities how you hurt yourself they don't gotta be fucking skeletons of how you hurt somebody else thank you babe oh you per oh thank you for purchasing the subscription thank you for subscribing i don't know who she is okay well you'll find out if it's meant for you You'll definitely find out. All right, but like I said, this karma, they wanted to dive deep in your energy. They really did. All right, yeah, dive deep into your inner knowing. All right, yeah. This I'm getting, you can't see. Like, this friend is trying to say, you can't see. Like, what, what you can't see about them? Like, their blessings? Or you can't see their energy right or straight? Like, they're, I feel like they're like, I feel like they're trying to cloak themselves in a way where whenever you do try to read their energy, all right, it will be like it'll come out confusing but again it's not you trying to read their energy spirit is like letting you know that they reading your energy and they don't want you to see what they're hiding this friend can also have a child or a kid all right and they're watching you it's not fair like how can they watch you or this could be the ex too it could be the ex it's not fair how they can watch you but you guys can't you know watch them not saying you want to but it gotta be reciprocal they can't be sitting in your fucking energy doing nothing all right besides causing agony all right but you can't find out what the hell they got going on you you don't you you don't get to know what they're doing that's not fair definitely your ex yeah it could be a female that's um that your ex is dealing with it could be a friend of your ex's that's a female you know just flip-flop the roles why is this friendship here She don't want y'all friendship vibe to come out. 
all right in the sense of like how the way y'all friendship was she don't want that truth to come out i'm getting that so strongly like a strong projection of like you know i'm not your friend you know and don't let the truth come out she could have had she could have had somebody doing a spell on her so i mean a stealth uh she could have someone do a spell for her to stop whatever truth that is meant to come out to you about her. Okay? Whatever truth is meant to come out to you guys. This truth is meant to come out to you about her. I feel like she paid someone to do a spell. And that's the worst thing she could have done. Because she's never going to gain any clarity about herself now. Because she wants to feel and believe she's not the problem. But she's the problem. So how can a person like you know even tap in and see what her problem is? She got people doing spells to cloak her from seeing her as a problem. You want people to see you as light, and that's not who you are. You're never gonna get the help. Thank y'all again for the roses. Evidence, I'm telling you, there is proof and evidence that it's this scam karmic friend. But she don't want y'all to know, and she don't want y'all to see it. She don't want y'all to see the truth about this friendship here. That it was really no friendship, and you was being used, and how she talked about you. For a lot of you guys, you been knew this. But it could be more that she don't want you to see. It doesn't matter because you already don't know. You already know the truth. Anything more is, is some shit that you already don't know about that she did a few, uh, how many times ago. Yes, okay, she just talked about you yesterday, okay? She said the same thing that you already know a few months ago. So who cares if she just said it two days ago? Unless y'all want to know. But it's proof. There's, it's, it's, I feel like there's proof and evidence that this friend is scared. This friend is scared. Or this could be an ex. Just flip-flop the role. It could be the ex. Please flip-flop it. Don't look at me sideways. Oh, she's talking about the French. She ain't talking about me anymore. Some of y'all, y'all take these readings too personal and they're not personal readings. And some of y'all want to act like, you know, it's no friend of your energy and you feel and know it's the friend, but you feel like she's not a threat. The ex is more, mainly a, fr a threat, but I'm letting you know right now what the friend is doing. So just accept the message for what it is, okay? For everyone here, because I had so much people come back and project and call me a liar call me fake or you know i'm a karmic reader because i'm not resonating with them now like don't be arrogant don't be in your ego please don't do that okay but um yeah it could even been it could even be proven evidence that your ex messed with your friend okay thank you all for being here and, and the likes and stuff like that how many likes i have Thirteen thousand. that's pretty good i like that but yeah, this friend is, is in fright and I feel like spirit is showing you like this friend is scared. Maybe she don't want spirit to show you certain things. Like she knows spirit be showing you stuff. But how the hell do she know that spirit is showing you stuff about her? Unless somebody went back and told her the things that you said about her that spirit told you. Like so for some of you guys, you could have told someone around you about what spirit said about this friend. And they went back and told this friend. Okay, or this friend could have been getting readings done and the reader warned her like spirit is showing you the truth about her and that she needs to be careful while being in your energy. And then she went to another person to do a, 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 a spell. I don't think that she went to the same reader to get work done because the reader done showed like exposed her pretty much to stay out of your energy. So she's like, I'm gonna go to somebody else. All right, her plan was probably always to go to somebody else that's like this, this practitioner that I'm getting that she knows a practitioner. I feel like, um, it's funny because in my last reading, I picked up that a karmic went to a prophet. Like, they can practice, like, they may practice spells, but they read more than practice spells. Well, I'm picking up with this reading now that a karmic went to a practitioner, and I feel like they don't read. Like, they intuitive, but they're, they, they're not a reader. They just practice spells. Like, you know, you pay them to get some work done, some voodoo work, and they got it. Like, this, this, is, this is what was in the back of this karmic's mind. It's funny because I'm seeing her... The karmic Jezebel asked her, and it says abundant here. Like, this is someone, they may be abundant, but they are unhappy internally. And they're seeing how your life is changing and shifting into abundance, and now she's feeling, like, com competitive. Like, you know, I got to keep up with her. I got to keep up with the Joneses, because you guys are the Joneses. Yeah, that's what it is. They, they, the truth is getting revealed, and they're mad about it. So they're trying to cover their tracks. And a lot of them think it, thought it was a bright idea to cloak their energy or to do some type of spell, all right, cloaking spell to cloak the whole truth, all right, and to block you from knowing that y'all was ever even friends. Like, she wants y'all to eat, like, this is why I was feeling that fucking confusion. It was strong confusion, like, right there, and I had a, a trouble time reading it because this karmic wanted to be hard, wanted energy to be hard to read. Some of y'all could have been having a hard time reading certain energies around you. It's the karmic because they know the truth coming out. But basically, she wanted y'all, she, I, I, I feel like she did a spell 
This karmic, she does her own spells and pay people and go to readers. Okay, she's just all over the place. All right, but she she did her own spell before she went up and went to that practitioner. Once she went to the practitioner, she realized she can't do this on her own and she don't have the power to do this shit. But she did her own spell to make you forget that y'all was ever friends or like your mindset would change like about y'all connection where you'd be like, oh, we was never friends. I don't fuck with her like that. And that's what she's saying about you. Her own spell works on her. And that's what she's saying about you guys. That she don't F with you like that. Or she never did, oh, y'all ain't friends, or, you know, I forgot about our friendship. Like, yeah, it's working on her. She didn't really completely forgotten. It just, it it just, the spell worked on her mentally to the point where she, she, she's not even, like, thinking of y'all the way that she was. Like, she may think about y'all and feel guilty, but she's not thinking about y'all and feeling like, oh, I'm going to get this bitch back. I'm going to have power over her. It's all guilt. And she's hearing certain thoughts in her mind. She, like, she's hearing certain things. And she and she may think it's her own thoughts. I feel like it's other people's thoughts. She could have like you know tapped into her, her higher self way too early, and you know a part of being like in your higher self power is like your crown chakra power too, right? And part of that crown chakra power is being able to hear, read other people's thoughts. Sometimes we will think other people's thoughts as empaths alone. That's that's what we would do. So she could have been trying to tap into her empathic abilities way too early. Alright, just to keep up with y'all, the Joneses. You the spiritual Joneses. Okay? You the spiritual inspiration. And it backfired because it's like her mind, body, and spirit is not aligned. So that's, that's like, yeah, she may have the power to hear other people's thoughts, and that's probably what she cares about, but she don't have the power to control it because she needs to upgrade. I mean, majority of, of feminines can tap into a person's mind as long as they're tapped in and aligned here. She can have no control over this. She's just hearing a bunch of other people's thoughts. She'll walk past a person and hear their thoughts, and she won't even know where it's coming from. I mean, if she... If she gets some spiritual help, maybe, I, I I don't know. Even if she goes to, like, a spiritualist for help, they're going to see all these blockages and all this karma, and they're going to let her know, like, you never want to gain control over your power because you done this spells to make a person lose control of their power. That's what's happening to you. Like, they did spells for you to lose control of your power, lose control of your mental power, your mental strength, and that's what's happening to them where they can't even control the thoughts that's coming in and out of their brain. Yeah, they better be praying for real. Hey. Yeah, this friend is lonely and in, and is in spiritual confinement. Okay, and is in spiritual confinement. This friend slash ex energy. All right, they are lonely and is in spiritual confinement. before like the karmic is like stuck and shit like that but they still daydreaming about you guys but they are facing karma yeah this is all they could do is just daydream they, they can still think all right so they can like i feel like they're I feel, listen they can still think right yeah but you know thoughts can manifest i feel like their thoughts are not manifesting as much as it used to like their power the power that's attached to their thoughts is like is weakened it's like they cannot put energy or anything out there through the mind anymore. It's obviously it's going to just instantly backfire. But it's not even just... By, the backfire is the, sh the shit not working. But the reason why is because their crown ain't strong enough to send no signal out. To make those thoughts manifest. Their thoughts completely worked against them. Now I'm picking up on the X energy too. Alright, like I said, it's a, both friend and an X. They could have been working hand in hand or they both was in your energy. Alright, or you just had... Just flip flop because you've just been an uh, X in your energy. And it could just been a friend, but I'm getting both because it's a good general reading and it's a mixture of energy for all y'all. Yeah, but they was even trying to say, I ain't daydreaming of you, but yes, they are. They're lying. They be lying. They they, they think and daydream of you guys all the time, all right, because you're divine here. All right, they daydream and think of your fucking real estate, your abundance, what you about to have moving forward in life. They think about how you're going to have all this great stuff, and it does make them jealous. Them thinking about you in this way of like fantasizing and you know 
them thinking that you are like you know a good person that's definitely them facing their karma them having to think that way of you that that's their karma because they need to see you for who you are the truth they may think karma is always a tax like no karma is, is also truth and clarity too it's their karma to sit here and think about what they did by thinking of you in a positive way like you wasn't that bad person you did not deserve that I'm glad I'm spotting on. Yeah, they wanted this. This ex wanted your real estate vision, that real estate goal, that wealth mega project, okay? And that investment, that spiritual investment you made for yourself and any other investments, they wanted to take that. Okay, there we go. We got to get focused. Yeah, y'all stay calm. But I feel like some of y'all, y'all, okay, y'all remain calm, right? Or y'all remained calm in the past. But I feel like they didn't want y'all to be calm. They wanted you to know, like, they, they like, bribed or sold your soul to the devil. Like, someone wanted you to panic because they sold your soul to the devil. I'm not trying to sound dark. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wanted you to panic. Like, they're like, oh, you all calm now, but don't worry. All right, she going to be all effed up full of anxiety because I sold her soul to the devil. This definitely was a bullshit-ass friend for a lot of you guys trying to bribe your soul to the devil. And we're just like, don't worry. Everything gonna be alright. I'm gonna get back at her. I'm gonna send the devil all this extra shit. Like, she was telling, like, okay. If there was a friend, she was telling other people around her who she felt like you was also attacking. And all these other people felt like you was attacking them too. This could have been her friends and family. They was all, like, she was telling them, oh, don't worry. Just stay calm. I sent the devil after her. The devil won't deal with her. And these people don't even have the rank to send the devil towards nobody. Yeah, real estate goals. Yeah. I don't know how, but that's what they they thought they petitioned. Listen, I'm seeing this person, they petitioned with a candle. I guess that's how you sell your soul to the devil. I don't know how. I don't want to know how. But this friend was like, I called on the devil. Now, for some of you guys, this could be Papa Legba. He's showing up again. Okay, because he have a light and dark side, and I'm seeing his dark side showing up. This karmic, they could be Haitian, have Haitian blood, or they can, it don't, it don't have to be, but I'm getting Haitian. They could have been working with Haitians, Haitian magic. Who fucking cares? Which, it doesn't even matter. Well, it kind of does matter. All right, but my whole thing is, is that they could have been working with some Haitian roots. They don't have to be like Haitian blood. They may know a Haitian, or they may know that that practitioner is Haitian. They could have taught them certain Haitian, um tradition with magic and voodoo okay you know Eleg or well, Papa Legba will also be connected with Haiti okay as well I ain't coming for Haiti or no Haitians don't come for me all right because you will get knocked down but she was like don't worry I called on Papa Legba he gonna he gonna he gonna you know calm us down like remove our anxiety like somebody was calling on Papa Legba to remove their anxiety like, don't get me wrong. Like, he can work that way closely with ones that he fuck with. He's not just doing that to, for any and everybody. Maybe they thought because they Haitian or they got Haitian blood or they fuck with a Haitian blood that leg bar just going to automatically work for them. All right? Maybe these people, they thought, like, you're not of African, Haitian, Hispanic blood, Caribbean blood. You're just Canadian, American, European, Australian or you're just African, okay? Like, we can just fuck with you. Girl, what? Exactly, it's not their soul to sell. And that's what they thought. They thought they can just... Y'all, the way that they was thinking is like child's play with magic. All right, this child's play with magic. It, there was no rules or regulations, none of that. It was child's play with magic. And they they was ready to take you down. They was ready to curse and cross up your luck with a bunch of bad energy and have you as a puppet. I'm not making this up. They wanted to confuse your your vision about like your your real estate. That's that mega project, that new beginning. All right, try to send karma towards this new beginning, this fresh start. They was thinking all that shit was gonna work. Some of you guys, you had a crazy ex going to a female friend of theirs or a friend of yours trying to also um, bribe your soul to the devil. It was working together to bribe your soul to the devil. And and they was telling, listen, if they was working as a team, 
the ex and the friend, they were telling each other, don't worry. I say no ruffles. Yeah, no ruffles. You look got your shirt full of cupcakes. But they were basically saying, don't worry. Oh. Um, <laughs> we gonna we we got her back. We're gonna or we or we're gonna get her back. Don't worry. We're going to take back the mega project that she stole from us, which is yours. Okay? Like, and this is what this karmic was, this this karmic ex, all right, was thinking of what this karmic friend was thinking of. Like, you know, I'm going to take all of this that, that she had because it's really mine. Yeah, they deserve to face karma for even thinking this way. They're facing karma for even thinking they can come in your energy and attack you. All right, I'm reading. They're, they're facing karma for their thoughts. That's why why you think that their thoughts ain't working or manifesting that. Hold on, y'all. Jafar, hold on. Hold on. She all right. She taking care of. She's over here whining because she ain't getting her way. Y'all stop making it seem like I ain't taking care of my kid because she's whining. Y'all ever took a parenting class and you gotta let the kid whine? Sometimes you gotta let them soothe themselves. But anyway, um she ain't screaming to the top at the top of her lungs, so she alright. Right, exactly. As long as she's not hollering at the top of her lungs, she's good. You can tell she's just whining. Or right, when you're a mother, you know that you know the cries. Trust me. Yes! Exactly. <laughs> Mine's I know mine's spoiled. Okay. Right thing she wine does, that's a spoiled wine. That's not like a crying or whining because of whatever whatever. That's a spoiled wine right there. Okay. My baby's spoiled. Okay, like that's what it is. Yeah, she knows she's a baby. That baby knows she a baby. Yeah, they act up when I'm busy, exactly. Right? But they love to do that. <laughs> But anyway, thank y'all. Y'all got my back. Thank y'all. It feels good to have people that got my back. Because I've been fighting this battle for a long time. Certain people in my collective, they watched me get attacked. And they did absolutely nothing. They said nothing. So it feels good to have real ones here. Exactly. I got nothing to say now. Thank you for the rose. Thank you. Exactly. Quick with the money business. But yeah, let me keep going. He didn't think he was going to receive karma for his thoughts. Yeah. Listen. Oh, wow. What? Thank you for all those roses. Yeah, they always on hate him old. 58 roses. Wow. Thank you. God bless you. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> right? And some of y'all even got your own kids. Well, let's keep going. This the full video, the full reading of this reading this live will be on YouTube. So y'all keep that in mind if y'all just showed up like 30 minutes in, 20 minutes in, and you missed the beginning. All right, don't worry, it'll be on YouTube. They bad in their own way. <laughs> in their own way. I'm not gonna make it seem like my kids is perfect. Hell no. But you know, we love them. Thank you for the rose. But let me keep going, okay? So yeah, they're facing karma for um for thinking ill, okay? Well, I should say for having ill intent. I'm just coming over the title. Yeah, they the karma for having ill intent towards you. Yeah, they are perfect. Oh, thanks. But um, yeah, they didn't expect to face their karma for this. That's what I'm, I'm I'm strongly getting. Like this is standing out. Like they're all their thoughts they're facing karma for it, and them even thinking they wasn't gonna face karma, they facing karma for that too. Karma is lessons. They gotta face a lesson for that. Exactly. Now, look and look they stressed out now over their karma they stressed out now over their karma star seed they're like oh karma coming karma is facing me and i can't take it yeah they didn't want to listen and this they still don't want to listen now 
You know, certain people could be trying to tell them it's not karma. Karma ain't coming. They don't want to listen. Like, no, I know it's karma. Karma is here. Karma came. All right? And this is someone, they're blind. Like, they can't see with their third eye. So, it's like, maybe somebody is seeing, like, I feel like it's karma. But certain people around them, I feel like certain people around them is also blind. Like, they can't see what this karmic is seeing because they didn't do what this karmic did. Like, if they was messing with a demon, the demon is fucking antagonizing them and that's their karma. All right, they was being disrespectful to God. Uh, yeah, they feeling God's wrath. All right, and people around them could be like, it's not karma. I don't see anything. And they're like, no, you don't see what I can see. Or, uh, you know, they're, they're like attacking people. Like, oh, well, you're in your ego. <laughs> yeah, they're telling people, you're in ego. All right, you're not listening to me. Or you don't want to believe me. Like, they're like pushing people down, pushing people out the way. Like, they're trying to hurry up and run out the house. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, they're, they're like being antagonized by a demon. Or their own demons. Okay? And that's their karma. They're looking at, like, everybody's, like, in their ego. And, like, everyone came here on earth to teach them a lesson. And they're ready to D.I.E. They're like, oh, you okay? And I'm not. Like, they're really mad at that. But it's like, y'all was being bullied. Because y'all in the okay energy. Because y'all was actually happy and content with your life. Now they want you to be content with low vibrational shit. They don't want you to upgrade. But, you know, you're still content with life. But you know that there's room for upgrades. Their goal was to curse you. That was their goal. To curse you with black magic. That was their goal. Their goal was to hinder your blessings with, with spells. Take your blessings from you. And then you be needing their help. And they help you with your blessings. Get the hell out of here. You be homeless. All right, while they fucking at home. Gluttony. Who does shit like that? You, listen, you don't even deserve to be living sleeping on someone's couch eating all this food when you ain't doing nothing with your life this is someone that that's they're not doing nothing i don't care if they get up and work they're not doing anything and they got somewhere to be sneak peeking your energy to see if, if you're going through all these curses and hexes and stuff they're not doing nothing with their life they got some nerve to try to come for you and they're not doing shit with their life what Thank you. It, yeah, it's very much dark. Thank you for the roses. And thank you for the 50 team bracelets. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Yeah, it's always room for betterment. All right, but yeah, this friend got caught beating your energy. And now she's scared. And other people can tell. Like, they can see it. Like, she's scared. Like, because other people around her know what's going on between you and her. She's trying to figure out how certain people know specific things. But people can just tell it's not rocket science. And people can see, like, bitch, you scared. That's what happened when you try to be the third fucking wheel, an enemy in someone's space. You try to be the fucking third-party karmic. Okay? Yeah, people tell them, like, that's what you get for playing the third real, um, the third wheel role. Okay? That's what you get for, you know, playing the enemy role. Or that's what you get for being the third party in someone else's relationship. Because this could have been a third party, too. Like, they're being told, that's what you get for being the third party. That's what you get. And this could have been when you was with that ex. Yeah, so the third party is like, you know, feeling dumb. But, but people's like around her like, like how what, how could you expect different? That's what you get for being a third party. Should have saved your energy for something else. Like somebody don't even have money in their savings to pay for their car. Their car got into an accident and it was their fault. Yeah, they should have loved themselves more. Because now they get hit with all this karma. With this natural disaster. This is like... Nature attacking them, like I was saying, nature attacking their family is karma. This karma should have loved his or herself more. Instead of watching what you do and allowing, you know, your life disturb their demons, they should have loved themselves more. They would have avoided a bunch of karma for them and their family. Because their whole bloodline, their generation is cursed. Even their whatever kids they have or meant to have will be affected by them. Yeah. They listen, they be talking. Remember I be saying that the karmic talk too much? That's what I mean. They be telling people y'all business, the business they got with y'all, but they be lying. Like people ain't gonna figure out the truth. They the only unintelligent ones that's that's dumb enough to believe their lies. Alright, this bitch should have loved herself more, then she would have avoided those accidents. She would have avoided, you know, mistakes that she made with you. Why is decisions here? I'm hearing decisions, decisions. I'm getting you have to make a false decision, a faulty decision. See, that's what the karma keep trying to put on y'all. Y'all making bad, faulty decisions that's going to backfire on you. 
you know you need to make a decision in life to like move like to, i guess it's like you had a crossroad and you going down a, a new direction they want to change that decision up you know you go down left instead of right you you make a slight right instead of a slight left you know like how can how did they try to change your direction yeah origin here so i like i said this on tiktok yesterday for um subscribers it's coming up again all right shout out to y'all that subscribe but i this person i was getting this person want to be the root cause the origin to your problems they want to be the root cause that's origin to your problems and i feel like the main issue i feel like what somebody's trying to say the main issue with you is that you can't make decisions for yourself sound decisions but that's for them like they're too weak-minded to make their own decisions yeah it's like you see they look like he's kind of like digging not really but he's planting but i'm just getting digging it's like y'all was digging and y'all found your treasure all right like yeah and and, and this could have happened like with this memory this could happen like a while ago you discovering yourself your true self you finding your treasure your destiny and y'all got bullied for it y'all got bullied for it and this shit's still happening like this shit old some of y'all like you still on this it's old now somebody wants you to make a decision to plant the seed with them you create with them. No. They are definitely ungodly. Like they thought the decision that they made was going to plant a negative. Like the decision that they made to go against you. They thought that was going to plant a negative seed. Whatever the fuck they was thinking with this decision, they thought it was going to grow something good. They was better off saving their energy, their money, their time, and doing something better. Because they made a big boo-boo ass and like, this is someone they just gained more weight. Yeah, look, gain, gluttony, they just gained more weight. It says gain, they gained more weight. Like, this is someone they can't even ride a bike because they're, they're like, they're so hefty. Or they don't know how to ride a bike. Like, somebody could be so big that they can't even fit in the car. I'm not being funny. Like, they should go to the gym. Save their money and go to the gym. Yeah, look, listen. Them getting all this weight was like a trap for them. I don't... What? It's about a trap house? Somebody listen to trap house music? Maybe I feel like somebody thought, like, you getting more weight would be, like, a good thing. Like, somebody was doing spells to make you gain weight. Because they felt like if you, like, get a little bit more meat on your bones, you'll be more attractive. That's not for everyone. Some of y'all could be slim. And they're like, oh, you need to gain more weight. Or this third party is thick, thicker than you. And she, she I feel like she feels insecure about her body. She's not always feeling good about it because she won't be doing these spells on you. And she was like, I'm going to trap her with a, with a weight gain spell. And they ended up getting trapped with that. The third party gained a bunch of weight. She's unattractive now to whoever this ex is. And if this is your ex, your ex will trap, trap themselves with all this damn weight gain spells because that, that shit is on them. They're like, I feel like their biggest nightmare is to like reach a certain amount of pounds and they reach that pounds. Yeah. Somebody had a bright idea. Like they was looking up spells on the internet, how to do certain spells. And so I feel like someone on the internet could have gave them an idea to do like a weight gain spell on YouTube. So they could be communicating with an online community that claim to be spiritual. I'm not making this up. Like they, they had a bright idea to, to, to do spells to make you homeless, then do spells to make you sick. And then you experience death. And like they felt like it would be best for you to pass away because then you'll really get like your blessings on the other side. Like God ain't going to let you have it on earth because... God don't want you to have it among the, his children that who you took it from. Little old you took all them damn blessings. Oh, thank you, babe. Make my man a mod. Make my baby a mod. And my baby as a moderator. Give him all that. <laughs> Thank you for the ice cream. Thank you for three roses. Y'all really blessing me today. Thank y'all. Y'all be so nervous for my message to come out because Carmen's always trying to mess up my messages. Mess up me, like, putting out the message. So I'll be nervous at times, but, you know, like, they be trying to confuse me about, like, the I like the idea that they're getting. They want y'all to think that it's y'all idea. 
okay when it really came from them it's just weird y'all i just be getting a bunch of confusion thank you for the rose Yeah, I'm getting a karmic want you to be scared. But it's like, it's like you're not scared of them. Like, we all get scared. But they want you to, like, stay scared. Like, you're just constantly scared. And that's, like, not your energy. Yeah, and they're both liars. Decision in origin and look treasure. This came right back out. Wow. That's crazy. A part of this treasure chest is like marriage. Okay, y'all. A part of y'all, y'all abundance is marriage. Abundance came out twice, but basically they made a decision to plant this negative seed, and and um, in your life, like I'm like I'm seeing like you have like a garden. That's just like it don't have to be real. This is like metaphorical. You guys have like a garden, right? And they try to sneak into your garden to plant a negative seed, so it'll grow like a negative tree that will like kill out all your other plants and shit. Like this, 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 this seed could have been their plot, their plan. All right. And it backfired. Like, and I feel like in the end, they was like doing all this to find your treasure. To find your ultimate treasure. Like it was a bad decision to try to plant this negative seed in your energetic space. And the part of that planting the bad seed was like pinning shit on you. Like this bad seed that they putting in your garden, they wanted to make it seem like, oh, it came from you. There's no evidence tracing back that it was from me. Oh wow! Thank you for the for the ten. Let them cook. Thank you so much. Like they want the energy reading to come out confusing as hell, so the truth won't come out. Like they're working with like I honestly at this point the spirit of confusion needs to work against them. But the the spirit of confusion love to confuse people. But that shit needs to work against them because they doing too damn much with this confusion spell. They pissing me the fuck off. At this point, the confusion, the spirit of confusion don't need to be working for that. But, um, yeah. They was hoping to find your treasure. Alright? And they did not find your treasure. They also made a decision to, like, distract you from seeing them planting this negative seed. And distract you from finding your treasure so they can find it first and claim it as theirs. There's a blind person in your energy, looking into your energy, I should say, and they can't see marriage in your life because they're blind. They can't see that type of stuff. Really? Which which reading did you did you um which what did you book? There we go. Ugh. <laughs> what what did you book? I was gonna say which reading did you book, but that didn't make sense to me. Cause I just did two um collectives. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That was you. Girl, I didn't know that was you, girl. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You gonna, I hope you love it. It was 40. I think it was like 40 minutes long. I literally just said it. I just did it. I just sent it out to you. Shout out to you, girl. So now I know. Okay. Because your energy was coming in so sweet and innocent. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so funny. Yeah, I did. I just did it. I hope you like it. I wasn't for sure. Like, y'all, because I dealt with people who, like, I did readings for. And I would pick up on a karmic ex. But I guess they didn't like that I picked up on a karmic ex because they still dealing with him. So they'll be like, oh, there's no karmic ex in my energy. But it's because they're still talking to the karmic that's about to soon be an ex again. All right, so, so so sometimes when I pick up on love, I get confused because it's like I don't want to project that it's a karmic in their energy. And then, you know, there's really not, even though I see that it is because I got attacked. Like, people thought that I was projecting because I saw the truth. Yeah, check your emails. Check your email. The one that you used to book, right? I think that's the one. I know you sent me an email, too. Um, Let me make sure that's the one. That I sent it to. Yeah. I hope so. Yep, it is. 
Yes, I'm so excited too. And I gotta do a ritual for someone today, so I gotta get that out the way tonight too. She booked two, so that's fine. But um, yeah, you guys, let let me just keep going. So I I don't see like they're trying to turn like your like the decisions that you made in life. They're trying to use that against you. The decision that you made to to shift your life, to find your true self, to unlock who you are, your potential. Okay they was trying to like change those decisions like well change it by making it like go against you or make you change your mind about these decisions that you made to move forward to shift your life you'll just go backwards <sighs> let me get one more with that decision they made a decision to plant a bad seed in your energy energetic field to take your treasures and have you as a puppet no they, i feel like they're trying to put that on you like you did this you did that that's what they did that why they mad that they gotta make right with the spirits and god including you this third party yeah bitch you in it too just listen for some of you guys it was an x in your energy okay and they had a third party right for some of y'all y'all had a friend in your energy too as well for some, for some of y'all it was a friend and an ex working together now if this is an ex and a third party the third party trying to run and act like she got nothing to do with that no bitch you got everything to do with it too because you teamed up with him if this is a friend she trying to make it seem like well i got nothing to do with that i got nothing to do with you know whatever the f is going on but she does and she knows she does a lot of them know that they're facing karma. they just keeping it to themselves. And they and they still saying, that ain't got nothing to do with me. So they think if they say that, then they'll wash stuff away. Yes. I did. Which one? I don't be knowing y'all names. <laughs> okay, but, um... Yeah, but I'm mainly, like, I'm strongly getting, because, you know, the friend, they all trying to run the third party, but the friend or the third party that was working with the ex, they mainly saying, like, you know, this got nothing to do with me, I'm, 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 you know, I'm running from that shit, but she tried to steal from you, too, she tried to rob from you spiritually, too, so she gotta go down, too, now, if it was just a friend in your energy, she had other friends doing shit to you, you know, to help her out. And now they all saying, well, girl, that got nothing to do with me. I don't want to be involved in that. Once she start, once the tower started to fall and they realized the heavy consequences that come with messing with spells, voodoo, papa leg bar, messing with you and your destiny. Yup, messing with you and your destiny. That's when they realized, like, shit, I don't want nothing to do with this, this negative karma. They seeing the negative karma coming. They seeing fucking fireballs raining from the heavens because they ain't think the heavens can fucking generate fireballs so now they're like oh shit i gotta run but no everyone involved yo karmic x is involved in the third party yeah he said no you said this you said that i believed you when you said this because your ex is really believing the third party or your friend friends is like bitch i'm not getting dragged you better fix this shit now you better get me out of this shit now because i'm not getting dragged down with you now if this is your your ex your ex's friend same thing she trying to run and your ex is like nah -uh. you said this you said that yup standing on business period they all trying to run away and they all mad at each other too but they all should have stopped attacking you some of y'all could be pregnant or when you was pregnant they was attacking you this bullshit ass third party and your bullshit ass ex attacking you while you pregnant you could have been pregnant with his baby or you got pregnant by somebody else this could have been like a long term ex Y'all, let's, let's just say y'all separated two, three years ago. You with somebody else, they still attacking you. Like, this is disappointing. And they still trying to do the same thing. Like, they're like, this is someone, man. You was pregnant at the time. See, I know what I'm picking up on. Yeah, they wanted y'all to be stressed out, pregnant. And they wanted you to feel like you need to make right with God. You need to be more good. You need more, you know, humility. You need to be more humane. 
Thank you for the follow. Anything else? I told you they was working with an online community. I know why I said that. I saw it in my mind's eye from this card. I know what I said. That listen, they was working with someone in the in that that's a part of an online community that's most likely in the spiritual community. They was telling this karmic to tie you up, have you and, and or have you as a puppet. That's one way to tie you up, make you a puppet. You know, have have mind control over her. Dude, like this was the this was the worst type of guidance. You step into the spiritual community and find people that's telling you to have control over someone. That's bad guidance and that's a bad way to start. And that just shows that you're not meant for the spiritual world and that you need to learn some more lessons in the 3D first. Because ain't no way a person would just tell you to do some binding spell or to like have control of their mind and then you think like, yeah, this will work. This is okay. Like that shit is not okay and that shit is not going to work. It's not supposed to work. Yeah, y'all, listen. Trying to send dark magic towards you guys behind your back because you doing okay. This ex and this lonely friend mad that you doing okay without them. And the third party that this ex had was just jealous of you. Cross the board. Okay? Yeah, and they have, listen, I'm telling you. Your, your ex and his friend got too much pride to admit it that they did this shit to you. But they know it was their bright idea to protest against you online as well, over the internet. Or they was looking up ways over the internet to protest against you, to make you withdraw and quit, quit your job, quit your life purpose, quit life, and you have to repent. Basically, this third party was trying to make you repent. Or this this friend of me, all right, she's confused about you now again. Like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that to you. Maybe it wasn't you and my energy, bitch. How are you confused? But you so ready, so ready to take somebody else down. Let me stop cursing. All right, it's like in the end, they knew that you was gonna win, be victorious, successful, and that's not what they wanted to see or hear. All right, so they're like, I don't care if you're in my energy or not. I'm gonna take you down because I don't like you being successful, victorious, and achieving. All right, they they rather listen. They would rather be stressed out about you guys than to fix their life. They'd rather stop everything they do and, and risk being lonely in the spirit, making themselves spiritually ill, okay, just to attack you because you're a sweetheart. And they wanted to steal from your sweetheart, literally. The diamonds that come from your heart, the blessings that come from your good heart, it's your good karma. So they trying to steal your good karma, all right, trying to set up you getting robbed in your house with you and your person. Some of y'all could be blondes or redheads, all right? So they were trying to get you set up with you and your person in, in the house, in the same house. Yeah. All right, they thought that was a gift. All right, that's going to be a gift. That's going to be my present from the universe, from God, the devil. <laughs> All right, once you fucking get, you lose your life in your own home. Because that's what they was, in this imagination, yeah, this is what they was cooking up in their damn head. It'll be a blessing if you, like, just, just die in your own home. You'll be unalive in your own home. There we go. I'm glad it's resonating. <sighs> That's funny. I did not know that was you, girl, when I was doing the reading. I swear. I was just like, I don't want to see too much and then, you know, scare her away. Because sometimes I'll see so much and it will scare people away. <laughs> so, I'm like, let me be very light. But, you know, I gave you a good reading. I really hope that you enjoy it. They just popped up in my head again. That just give me reassurance to like just keep going in my flow and don't be afraid to tap into whatever spirit gives me in a reading, even if it pisses a person off. Because I tapped into some good shit for people and they got really mad at me. They got really mad at me. Wow. You was 19. So you're I knew you was youthful too. I had a strong feeling that you was youthful. I had a strong, strong, strong feeling. Alright. But you also come off as very like you know wise old soul sagey like but let me keep going for real no you was 18 okay claim your royalties claim your like he said claim your royalties y'all are reparations okay but yeah this karma was in their, their mind like i'm gonna teach you a lesson i'm gonna teach her a lesson i'm gonna teach her a lesson and i'm gonna show her that i'm way more skilled with this profession i'm way more skilled all right, and that got them locked up. All right, and I feel like the devil the devil promised them that they were going to lock them up. But they thought the devil was talking about you. See how the devil done tricked them? All right, they done prayed to the devil to lock you up. And they end up locked up. And his friend, too, playing with leg bar. Look, praying to got a whole leg bar um, sanctuary. Got a whole pop of leg bar um, altar set up. Yes, this friend had a whole 
or Arisha an Arisha statue or Arisha um um altar and they put your name on there and, act, and actually ask the spirits to come for you wow yes I'm, I'm gonna keep putting out my messages yes just let it go and if it's meant to be, it'll come back. But this friend, she had a whole leg bar statue, a leg bar set up. That's the altar. They asked Spirit to then take y'all out. And the work, they, first of all, they asked Spirit, can you work, like, you know, be my alliance and go after, you know, who it is that's after me, who whoever's after me. And I feel like someone taught them this. Someone taught them how to, like, invoke or conjure in the spirits. To get them to work in their on their behalf, or like you know, they said some type of invocation where it will like in, in included in that invocation, they're asking the spirits to like work for me, work in my favor. All right, and that was like the wrong thing that they can do. They asked the spirits to like be my alliance, work for me, be on my team, and take down divine feminine and masculine. And they could have specifically went to leg bar. Okay, yeah, look, look what they, they got attacked by the spirit. The spirit told them no through an attack. And, and, and they was asking their ancestors to send you demons. Or to send back demons that you're sending towards them. And it's like their ancestors have nothing to send back to you because you're not sending them no demons. Some of them open up a portal for a demon to come in. By them trying to open up a portal for their ancestors to come in and send back any demons okay like when they like they asking for demons to be sent back they actually open up a portal for a demon to come i can't explain how that happened because i feel like their intention was to receive protection from demons but they end up opening up a portal for demons to come I'm tasting glue. Like this demon is like attached to them. They could have conjured or called on the demon. To go after you. And then once they started to feel certain attacks happening. They're like oh this bitch sent the demon. Let me ask my ancestors to send it back. You should have went to your ancestors first. To send back any spells. You, Why would you go to a demon? I swear to you. Or they went to like a dark spirit. Or they could have went to Legba. Who have a dark side. And they done pissed them off. That's why I said on my YouTube, for anyone that work with Orishas and, you know, African spirituality, Hoodooism, you go to your ancestors first. This I picked up on YouTube a karmic crown because they lost their Oshun crowning. They're not even crying that they lost their ancestral crowning. The crown that connected them with their ancestors that gave them, that give them the clearance to go into the ancestral realm. Y'all need to connect with y'all bloodline first. Y'all need to connect with y'all bloodline first. Exactly. Yeah, you need to definitely stay away from him. Definitely, definitely. Not my name is Stephanie, but stay away from him. Thank you, Lux. Thank you. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the comments, but I'm looking at them now. But yeah, y'all need to y'all need to work with your ancestors first and foremost, and then any other Orishas or spirits they they will come. They will come on their due time. Do not just run to them. Because this karma, they ran to certain spirits that they think that will be on their side. Because they other people worked with them. So, hey, you know, Orisha, Orisha, I'm going to call on Orisha. You know, I'm African or I'm African-American. I can, you know, work with hoodooism. You know, I'm Haitian. I can practice Haitian voodoo. And no, you cannot. Yeah, you got to know who you're messing with. You just cannot be messing with Why do you think they're trapped with all these weight gain spells? And nightmares and try to confuse me so this shit won't come out. And then try to confuse you about the decision you made about planting your seeds for treasure trees to come. Make y'all feel like you made a you made a you did the wrong thing and now they wanna fucking have control over you. That don't even make sense. Sending you fucking voodoo behind your back. Alright? No. And y'all sleeping good at night while they plotting on you on in spells. At li listen, I feel like these are people that be up like midnight. One in the morning, plotting on you and, and the spells they're about to do on you guys. While y'all sleeping. Yes! I can't make nothing up. 
They be up like three in the morning, plotting with the devil, trying to look. And the devil like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> the devil like, no. I got other work to do. I got other souls to torture. That's not it. No, no, no. That's not the case for divine feminine. She don't need that. <laughs> so they be up we mornings, we we hours in the morning. Trying to conjure the devil in your life. And then they wake up feeling like they need to fix themselves. They wake up feeling like they lost their luck. No one cares about them. <laughs> that's their spells. If they can't tell that's their spell work, then I don't know what to tell them. That's their spells. Yeah, they don't have jobs. They don't have jobs. Okay, they're a fucking bully. Trying to listen, now the bully being compromised. And now the bully got to persevere through all these hurdles in, of life. Hurdles of life. All right, hurdles that's in life. Right, that we have in our life, but they're a part of their life. That's what I'm getting hurdles of life. They're part of their they're fucking a part of their life now. And they're these hurdles are are um strategically placed along their path. Rather, even if they find their destiny, they still gonna deal with these damn hurdles. Yes. Until they learn how to sleep good at night while other people sleeping good at night. Until they learn how to how to settle down while other people happy, they gonna fucking deal with these hurdles. All right, because that, that was dead ass wrong doing this at fucking 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m., 4 a.m. That was dead ass wrong. That was not cool. Okay? Lost in the damn sauce. That's what I that's what I be saying. Lost in the sauce. All right, yeah, definitely served them right. Yeah, they created them. Yes, they actually created them damn hurdles for themselves. They really did. And in, in life, the universe, God just matched their fucking energy that they put out there but yeah they will and then they'll watch you guys they'll wake up early in the morning check your your social media all right or however they're watching you spying on you to see if you got possessed by the devil if the devil got you if you're buying it to the devil all right these people they do owe you an apology this could be fake family members or the karmic and their family owe you a fucking apology and they need to work on themselves all right how dare they try to change your jackpot how dare they try to change it thank you for the um Heart me in the community feast. Thank you, guys. Oh, she sent me six. That was a blessing, pretty tea. Thank you. I'm so sorry that y'all got to go through all this con this conflict and all this drama. I know it's antagonizing and annoying. All right? It, it's the, the energy itself is antagonistic. I get it. But y'all going to be okay. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, y'all y'all remain calm. They need your help. Because they're stuck and overloaded. All right? I'm getting... um. Some type of food, some type of processed food that comes in like a food, like you know those, those frozen meals. Like I'm getting like overloaded. What, what was it called? Overloaded potatoes. Like it's like loaded potato. There we go, loaded potato. Somebody could be eating something that come in like the frozen dinners, and it's like loaded type of food, like loaded baked potato or loaded mac mac and cheese. But they may come out with like a new flavoring where it's like overloaded. Like they're just trying to make us more gluttony. Y'all just thank you for the finger heart, babe. Y'all be careful with the um these processed foods and stuff like that. Even the vegan stuff. They may try to make like overloaded stuff. Don't be eating all that overloaded, loaded. Make your own loaded or overloaded. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, 50k. Thank y'all for the um for more heart puffs. Thank you. And for the dino. Alright, but um, yeah, man. Y'all um don't be eating all that overloaded stuff because you see they they overloaded on food. All of this will be a bunch of receipts that they spent on food. Even if they went to Walmart and bought groceries, they damn sure did overload on food. Thank you for the share, Lizzie. Yeah, and now they need your help to like to lose weight. <laughs> you y'all may eat help to have um eat healthy, drink smoothies. Something about your sixth house is significant. That's the health house. They need your help to like become healthy. Right. Maybe they want y'all to cook them some 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 lively foods, some some salads, some healthy stuff. Okay? They're overloaded. Like they're like their belly is big. They can't eat no more. Stop eating. You don't need nobody to tell you to stop eating. Stop eating. Stop buying pizza. Stop eating all them damn you know, you can make your own chicken wings if they love chicken wings. Make your own damn chicken wings. Okay? Fuck. Like do better. Thank you, babe, for the roses and the community feast. Yeah, maybe they need your help with fasting. They need to stop eating. They're eating too much. 
And you see, this person, they wanted you to feel like, you know, it's your karma for trusting them. That you should have never trusted me. You should have knew I was a bad person before you came in my energy doing all this bad stuff. You had this bullshit-ass friend. Y'all had a, I ain't gonna lie, specifically, y'all had a female friend that worked with ancestors. And she was definitely working with her ancestors to take you down. And she's, this indulgement card, this indulging is my friendship card, too. She's stressed out. All right, for trying to rob you. I'm about to keep that out. Because that, that's very much significant, Okay. That's what she don't want y'all to know, is that she worked with her ancestors, or she's still working with her ancestors to take from you. And she don't want you to know that she's stressed out from these spells, but yeah, she's still trying to fucking take from you. Okay, they made a fucking accident doing these, I feel like they, 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 it was an accident for them, like, not really an accident because they did it on purpose, but I feel like whatever they did, it happened on accident because it was on accident because that was not their intention. So, it's like they accidentally put themselves in a, a, a gluttony spell. And they were better off just saving their fucking money to go to the gym. Alright, like, instead of them spending their money on spells. Thinking you was going to get stabbed in the back by voodoo. That was wrong. That was dead ass wrong. But yeah, this friendship is standing out, man. I feel like this friend, she wanted your friendship to be like a good friendship, but... She was just too hateful. And that's what I feel. I feel like she was just too hateful. They could have been a group of friends. They all stressed out for trying to rob from you energetically. Yeah, I can't feel that void. You're right about that. I'm trying to um approve it. Baby just spoiling me. Thank y'all for being here, man. I don't know why I keep getting somebody 72 years old. Like, who's in their 70s? Well, somebody could have been born in 70, 72, or 73. Yeah, we got to put in that word. <laughs> Let's see what else comes out. I wanted to reset the um the deck overall. Yeah, they seeing that you're going with your flow. So now they're trying to copy your flow. This friend and this damn karmic ex. Yeah, and they're not content with themselves. They'd be like, I'm in contentment. They're not in contentment, I promise you. They want to move forward with you and in your energy, but they can't. They need to ask you for help first. They're like, I just can't. You, Of course, they just can't tap into your vibe. It's your vibe. They're going to have to ask. They, they need permission to fucking mimic and copy. Yes, they do. They need permission to mimic and copy you. They need permission to do things like you. And the permission is asking you for help. Hey, can you show me this? Can you show me how to do that? And a lot of y'all, like, it's too late now. Let them be stressed out. All right? I feel like it was a group of friends and a karmic-ass ex who you was with. Like, I've been saying this whole damn reading. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm getting it it's more confirmation. Y'all was coupled up with a karmic ex. And then you had karmic friends in your energy. And for some of you guys, this karmic ex um, teamed up with your friends. Like, this ex could have reached out to your friend. All right, like a friend that you don't really fuck with like that anymore. And you could have told him, like, yeah, I don't really fuck with her. Y'all could have fell out while you was talking with this ex. So he, and he reached out to her. Okay? And for some of you guys, your karmic friend reached out to your ex. She's just grimy. Look, friendship came out right back. Your friend is trying to copy y'all vibe. For a lot of you guys, it's mainly like a friendship energy. But it could also be an ex, too, in third parties. But it's time for this friend to get exposed. All right, yeah, you have a free spirit compared to her. And I feel like your spirit is aware. And mysterious. She can't figure out. And it's healing. Your mysterious energy is healing. Your spontaneous energy is healing. And this friend, she wants to she wants to be just like you. She wants to steal that. That's what it is. These karmic crosswalkers be like, oh, all she do is talk about the karmic, expose the karmic, but they hate that they're getting exposed. Or they be like, oh, these karmic readings is what making the money. No, it's not about what is making money. It's, this is real life problems. Like Earth is polarity. This is real life problems. All right, and y'all gonna continue to move forward in your your sweet kind spirit. She cannot change that. I'm glad it's resonating. Yeah, letting go. Y'all done let this friend go and this karmic ex lover go. Y'all don't let them go. This could have been people that claim that they was friends, like these friends claim they were your family, or these even family members. You had to let them go. For some of you guys, if you guys create content, your family members are watching you uh, 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 among the audience. Or there was a part of the audience that was watching you if you don't create content. They were just spying on you. They And I feel like they want... I feel like... They want you to prove to them how they was watching you. Like, they, like I'm, I'm hearing them come up to you like, well, how was Mom. I watching you? How was I spying? Mom, I pooped in the pie. Oh, my God. Okay, Mino. Shh. 
And they may say things like, well, don't everybody else watch your page? Don't everybody else spy, well, spy and stalk you? You know why it got to be me? Some crap like that. Even though you know that it's them. They're trying to make it seem like it's not me. It's somebody else. Exactly. But they wanted you to like explain like how you know. How you know that they're spying and watching this. Like how can you see it? You know. And then they were trying to play it off as if like you know. Like feeling smug. Like how you know. How you know. But they really want to know how you know. Because you know. Even the friends. Like bitch how the fuck she saw me. Girl. You underestimating our the power. You're underestimating our power. And how abundant our power is. Okay, like honestly, with that our power being abundant, it has to be good, it has to be strong. So you let these people go to, to, to head towards your abundance, a better abundant reality. And and you know, it's like a lot of y'all, you don't need to wait for this reality to come anymore. Cause I feel like your gratitude is what pushed you there. Hold on. Um hold on, y'all. I'm back. I had to help my little baby. Yeah. I feel like their mind can't even wonder or think straight. Like, their mind is, like, so out of control. Oh, my God. Thank you for the money gun, sis. They bet, I'm going to share that. They better not take us down this time. Aw. Y'all so sweet. Thank you, baby, for the roses. And thank you for the heart puffs. I'm going to see how much it is. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Thank you for all those heart puffs. <laughs> Tell me this will probably be 100. Wow. Thank you. If y'all can see, it was on my screen. 160 heart puffs. That was beautiful. And eight roses. That was beautiful. I can't wait. To, I'm, when I get off, I'm going to give him a big kiss because that was sweet. He just hopped on the live and was started gifting. He is such a sweet person. He is. Thank you, um, Emily. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys even more. And thank y'all for the likes as well. Those likes is just, just as equivalent to those gifts. I know, right? <laughs> but this is what I also seen with this accident, okay, and um and ominous. Basically, a karmic tried to send you an accident. If y'all did go and get into an accident, y'all came out okay. But just know it came from bad juju and they have to deal. Yeah, it came from this gluttony ass ex. Where's my tablet? Or gluttony friend. I don't know, Mino. Wherever you put it. Yeah, they saved up their money to send you an attack. And it 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 did work, but it didn't work with what you know with the same intention that they had. Okay, it worked in a way where it's like it warned you, like this gluttony person that have no right. To have this power is throwing shots at you. And it's because somebody gave them that damn power. How? By teaching them the damn power. Okay? A family member of theirs could have taught them this shit. Excuse my language. Passed down the torch to them. And it's like they're not even the chosen one in the bloodline to have this power. They're like a, 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 a counterfeit. 
a counterfeit chosen one. It's like they had someone in their family for some of you guys that could have taught them how to do certain spells and stuff because they thought like they're chosen to do it, but they wasn't even the chosen one to do it. Take take that how it resonates. Oh wow, you just had a little flood in your bathroom. Oh wow. I'm sorry about that. But Yeah, somebody in their family for some of you guys was teaching them spells. And I feel like the if if your ex had a third party involved, she was taught spells too. You know, that's how they mirror. They was both both taught spells, but they're both counterfeit chosen ones. Yeah. They just wanted to do magic on you. That's it. That's the only reason why they wanted to feel chosen. So they can feel chosen to attack you. Look, they got karma for each and every spell that they did. They Then the karma not even finish, finished yet. They still got more karma to come from those damn spells. They still got more karma to come. They don't see it though. They, and they, a lot of them didn't see that they lack self-love. That's why they was feeling insecure. That's why they was projecting. That's why they was mainly projecting because of their insecurities. They lack self-love. All right, they could not see that. They trapped themselves. Everything that they thought that's going to happen to you, tra they got trapped in that. Everything. These cards are speaking right now. I honestly don't want to pull out anything else. Yeah, I'm because they're like speaking so damn clearly. It's like y'all had karmics working together, collaborate. It was like a group of them trying to make you like suffer and you'd be stuck in nightmare energy. You'd be having nightmares. You'd be seeing demons. You'd be tripped out. You they were trying to attack you and your person, you and your relationship. If y'all in a relationship, if y'all married, okay, and they was like, this could have been an ex that was mad that you was with someone else, so he's working, you know, with a karmic female that may not like you, okay? Now, I'm not getting, like, okay, if this is an ex trying to attack anyone new in your life, I don't think it's a third party helping him do that. I feel like it's another jealous karmic female that's around him. Maybe it's one of his relatives or one of his friends, his female friends. Because he was able to get all these people mad at you. And I'm seeing him and a karmic petty female working together to send you and your person death. Or your future person death. Now, it could have been a third party too. For some of y'all, it definitely could have been a third party trying to unalive your future person. But I don't really feel like she has a purpose to because she wants to be with your ex. Unless she just want to be spiteful and funny and just take out anyone who you're meant to be with. Because she can have that intention too. But for every but for, but for some of you guys it was it wasn't you know a third party just trying to take out like your future person or your new person. It was your ex, like and he could have tried to get the third party to do it, but she was like, nah. Alright. But I'm seeing him working with like a petty female. That could be like his friend or his close his close relative. Yeah, doing death spells in your while you're sleeping in your sleep. What is this? Yeah, that was their plan to do spells overnight. That was dangerous. That's the most dangerous thing ever. That was their plan to do these spells overnight. Oh, wow. I was picking up on a statue. That's so funny. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Wow, that was special. Wow. Yeah, they owe you an apology, man, because we're trying to take your blessings. They really do. They should just say sorry and just let it go. All right, but it's like they also owe you an apology because you are a blessing. You are a whole blessing. Like, yeah. And with this reservation here, you are reserved to be a blessing in someone's life. This is like a lover. There's someone reserved for you that God, like, and I feel like God picked this person for you, all right? And I feel like the reason why God picked this person because this is your match. It's like, it's almost like you ask God to, like, you know, bring in your person and God picked this person because that is your counterpart, your divine counterpart. Yes, 50K.
that was awesome yeah 75 yeah listen you're good news to somebody i've been getting this lately like you are good news to someone and i feel like there's a karmic ex that wants to be in conflict with your new lover or your future new lover okay like any good energy moving forward i'm going to destroy that or i'm going to fight him in the spirit it's them in the fear in the spirit fighting at least that's what he thinks that's what he thinks. Yeah, he needs to save his money and calm down. He keeps wasting his money on spells and money. Okay? I mean, I'm sorry. Spells and money. He keeps wasting his money on spells and food. Okay? It's like, yeah, he may need an ambulance. Why am I getting a food coma? He be knocked out in food comas. He may end up spiritually, um, he may end up with food poisoning. He keep fucking playing around, eating the way he eating. He may end up with food poisoning. Yeah, you see, I can't make it up. There's all these div different people showing up. I mean, I know the whole deck have a bunch of people, but I'm at these people are actually standing out. Like... This is... This ex-masculine wants to fight with your new masculine. This will be you. And this will be you and your new masculine and your baby. He wants to fight you guys. Fight you and your new person. And say, I'm meant to fucking take care of her. I'm meant to have her baby. I'm meant to be in her life. After he had you in all this third party scandal. Now this is about a friend. Your friend don't like the fact that somebody see you as good news, a miracle, and they want to have your child. So now she wants to put him in conflict with spells, all right? Yeah, she wants to put him in conflict with spells. Or at least that's what she was doing in the past, if this is like past energy. So he will leave you, walk away, or eventually find her. Isn't that stupid? Yeah, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, look, look, you guys, y'all meant to manifest a family with this person. And now your ex is mad, and now you meant to manifest a family with me. Or this friend see that you're meant to manifest a family, and she don't like it. She wants that family, but she's not ready for it. She's not ready for it. She's just simply not. She's not ready for it. What is? What was after? Was it relaxation? Yeah. I didn't even know that was there. Like, y'all meant to chill and relax with your family, go on family vacations. Y'all meant to have, like, an easy life, a, a easy going life, because y'all been through so much bullshit in past lives and then he go these karmics doing fucking libation spells and going to a spiritual religion a spiritual practice praying to ruin all that for you to be cursed going to a tarot reader but some of you guys this karmic could have asked the tarot reader if they do spells and the reader told them no because i did mention on, on youtube that a karmic went to a prophet okay that um reads more than do spells but that don't mean that they don't do spells too. Like they asked a reader if they can do a spell for them. I don't I don't know if that's the same reader that I picked up on in this reading. But like I said, they went to many readers. Yeah, ooh, this uh uh I they went and got a reading done. And the reader gave them the reading. And I feel like the reader um said certain things like, you know, uh you need to like the reader saw negative energy around them, but it wasn't coming from you. But of course the ex thought it was you. Like the reader, I feel like the reader did not confirm or, you know, deny that it was you or not. The reader just picked up there was negative energy and that they need to clean it up. And they're seeing certain darkness around them, certain karma. So she so whoever the, it could be a she, the friend, or the or the ex is telling the reader, Well, can you do a spell for me to send back the spell? Because it's coming from my ex. My ex is attacking me, my karmic ex. And the reader was like, No. Uh-uh, no. I don't care if you pay me so much to be like, no, I don't feel like I should get involved because subconsciously the reader felt like something was up and they felt like they should not get involved. Like the spirit guys told them, don't get involved in this. Don't get involved. I'm not making this up. The reader told them, no, they turned down their money. Now that's a real, that is a, a real reader right there. Yeah, they always want to get readings on others. That's a real reader right there. Okay. Yeah. They asked the reader pretty much, can you send a curse to my enemies? The person who you picking up in the reading, I know who it is. Can you send them a curse? All right, so because it, it will help cleanse my energy if you send them a curse. That's what they believe. It will, it will help cleanse my energy if you send them a curse. Yeah, and they came into the reading, into the reading with a mask on. 
they actually looked up a reader online or they could have actually went like drove to like a psychic shop okay like i feel like they actually researched it with this adventure that they actually looked for it they actually looked for a reader okay and they had a mask on and they asked the reader like can you do a reading for me or i needed i you know i felt something off going on in my energy all right can you can you let me know what's going on and the reader let them know what they need to do to elevate and upgrade their life exactly it's definitely not hard to tell so that was their plan too is to go get a reading done to prove that you know you are negative and if you guys do readings they went to a reading to prove that your readings are wrong all your readings are wrong basically all right and like you trying to like do readings just to prove that you're right but that's what they're thinking and they also asked the damn devil to curse you and the devil said no the devil said i'll curse you karmic but i'm not cursing divine feminine and masculine i can't but i can curse you they didn't get that that's so funny how they like the reader told them no and they felt rejected like the reader is not playing with them they're not one of those readers yeah look they look for the reader online on the internet that was their idea hey let me go to a read let me go to a reader and use the reader to bully you too by saying oh i got a reading done and the reader said this like i feel like that's what the reader peeped like this person's a bit immature and now all they're going to do is take that information and run with it. They're not ready for this information. That's all they're going to do is protest. And then make you feel like you need to go to fucking jail. Spiritual jail. Because of what the reader said. And make you feel mentally ill. Make you energetically sick. No. They wanted to fucking knock your teeth out. I'm here. And they doing too fucking much. And I feel like the reader did pick up on all their negativity too. Like I feel like after the karmic left their guides. The reader guides let them know that this person got many personalities they got them and they got many masks do not trust them don't let them in your shop or in your energy again yeah this is this is why you felt so much heavy energy in the reading that's what the spirit told the reader they're trying to fucking cosmic cosmic cosmically make divine feminine masculine sick yeah cosmically they're trying to use the cosmos to do this that's that's also their plan i'm gonna work i'm gonna tap into the cosmos they need to stop this because it's not gonna that's not how it works they can think that's how it works all day. It's not. They're the one that's trapped in gluttony spells. And like I said, this damn gluttony person out here doing spells and shit on you. Like, who the fuck is that? They have no right to have this power. It's stolen power. This this is stolen power. Copy power. They stole it by copying someone that's really skilled. That, that means they have the potential. You know, to... Like, the fact that they're intelligent enough... To like comprehend someone else's actions to copy that means that they're intelligent enough enough to learn things on their own and do it their way But they got a demon in their heart. That's making them be a copycat How long I've been reading For an almost two hours. I'm about to get off Thank you But yeah, I've been on for two hours almost. I'm about to be done. Um, you'll have to cash at me real quick if you want that to be answered or you can go on my my um website and book a reading real quick okay but yeah the karmic needs your help they somebody needs your help quitting up like an addiction or they need help like getting like the demons or the spirits that's in their mind away because they can't like they can't cancel out these damn thoughts this could be the friend too that should have saved their fucking money and and worked on themselves it's like yeah bitch why would you spend your hard-earned money to hurt somebody else that's why their money is crossed up they never want to get no blessings all right, because they use their hard-earned money to, to fuck y'all up. At 5 a.m.? Oh, wow. And it's 7 now. Wow, y'all about to gain. I'm telling you guys, don't be afraid. Just, just keep going. All right, just keep going. Eleven, eleven.
And I'll just do it. I'll just answer really quick with my tarot. Yes or no? <laughs> yes, good numbers. Um, yeah, they should. This is they should save their money. Their ego was like, nah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spend such and such amount of money to do a spell to pay someone to do a spell. Like, what? Okay, how they spent their money on the spell was them paying for the candle, buying the supplies. And or paying someone else to take you down. They should have saved their money overall. Yes. Stay encouraged. Because I know what it's like. Sometimes I'll be in my head worried about what the karmic doing next. You know how they made me feel in the past and I don't want to feel that again. That's natural. We're going to feel that. You know, I just want you to stay encouraged. Don't let that get to you, you know. It was a bad investment. It sure was. That was a horrible investment. Because now they ain't got no money. And they got to pay for that. You don't think that shit going to die. They had to learn these lessons about voodoo, magic, witchcraft, back to cinders, as above, so below. Like, they had to learn that. Wow. We almost have to. We are. They had to learn that. Okay? Karmic wanted y'all to be in sad faces. That's not your energy. But they had to learn that ish. They had to learn it. They had to. They didn't learn. They didn't know about voodoo. I don't care where the fuck they come from. They can come straight out of Africa. They ain't no shit about voodoo. If they did, they wouldn't have done all this dumb shit like sending you an accident. I'm going to go behind her back and, and send her a spell. He, 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 he. That wasn't smart. Considering how spiritual you guys are. Considering how fucking spiritual you guys are. That was the most dumbest thing ever. And they can't even, the song is like, la, 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 la. They can't even walk around, la, 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 no more. Because they're just all stressed out, full of fear in their damn mind. They can't even think straight. They can't drive straight without getting jitters and anxiety. Nothing is straight anymore. This person may not even be straight anymore. Whoa! If this is a karmic ex, they're not, they're no longer straight. I promise y'all that. They're no longer straight. They may be straight at this moment. Okay. But by the time this reading is finished, they're not going to be straight. <laughs> like, basically, this reading is timeless. It's timeless. So they may be straight today, but tomorrow, their ass is not going to be straight. I'm getting no longer, they're no longer straight. These are timeless reading. The past, present, future all connects as, like, one. It's all simultaneous, simultaneously happening. So somewhere out there, they're gay. <laughs> Yeah, he's on the down low. He's not, he's not, um, he's, he's no longer straight. He's no longer straight. Okay. Well, yeah. Anything else want to come out with these cards? Yeah, he's, he's not. He's like, I'm done with women. Yeah. <laughs> he like, I learned my lesson with females, bro. He's like, oh, females always getting mad at me. I always piss females off. Being with females is a curse. I feel like he's going to tell that to one of his homies. Like, I'm about to just, you know, date the same sex. I'm going the same sex. He's crazy. Even his friends, like, why would you tell me that? He's like, you know, why would you tell me that? So now the friend is out here thinking, like, do you like me? Why are you telling me that? And, and how the way they say it was so positive with this good news. Like, the friend felt like they was trying to put down with them. This, this, your ex is like, I learned my lesson. I'm, I'm tired of people being mad at me. I'm just done with females. I get along with niggas more. Excuse my language. TikTok, I'm sorry. Yeah. They're like, I live and learn with females, bruh. I'm done. I'm, I'm going. I'm going rogue, which means gay. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to have a fucking gay family. I'm not coming for LGBTQ. This is what this man is saying. Like, he's going to have a, a G-A-Y family. Two men and they adopt. Yeah, and he's like, you know, I'll have more control over the same sex than with a female. Like, he feel like he will gain more because he'll have more control. He'll be in more control even in the bedroom. Like, he wants, like he's the one to, to give it, not to take it. He's going to be the one to give it for sure. I'm not, like, I'm so serious. He's going to be the giver, all right? And he, that's what he wants. He wants that. 
Uh, maybe his sex life will be better with the same sex. I don't know. But he's like, he wants to like, you know, be the giver. He could be talking to a guy right now and telling the guy like, I want to be the giver. He told a guy he wants to be the giver. Like, I'll be the giver. He don't care. He don't care about boobs and, you know, ass and all that. Like, he don't care. Like, he likes, like, the same sex. I promise you, he could have been hiding this for years. Why do you think he's mistreating you so harshly? He don't know how to treat a woman. That's what I strongly feel. Like, he feel like he'll win better with a woman. Like, even though a part of him is also, like, it's hard for him to detach from that thought of being with a woman because he's afraid of being judged. That's the only reason why it may, may might have been hard for him to detach from women. Or maybe he may feel like he'll miss Punani, but not really. Well, Poons. I don't mean to offend anybody. What's my it's right here. Cash app, Star Seeds Tarot. 444, four, four, right here. If y'all can I hope y'all can see that. But it's like he'd rather have somebody that looked like him than be with a woman. He feel like women too complicated, too emotional. You know, we we ain't right. All right, that's what he's saying. We ain't right, okay? He done bullied y'all. He done bullied women enough. Why would any woman want to be with him? He bullies women. He bullies females. <laughs> Excuse me. He Like, why would any girl want to be with his ass? He wants to have a controlling relationship where he can control the, the man. And... I feel like he would get what he wants because he would be the, the, the giver. He will be the giver. Not the take. Did I say he'll be the taker? He'd be taking it? No, he'll be the giver. And the I guess his partner will be okay with it. Okay? But he's like caught between a rock and a hard place. He's about to compromise his sexuality. He's like, I'm going st um, straight G-A-Y. Okay? Yeah. He's, I feel like life would like I don't think life would get better with the karma like he's still gonna face karma but I feel like something been like released off his damn shoulders like finally I'm out I don't have to hide it anymore it's why he like honestly I feel like the main reason why he can't get along with females is because he don't like females he don't trust females okay And it's like he always been in like doubt like he would ever find the right woman anyway. And then he found you and he fucked that up. So he just like, let me just go to the same sex. Anything want to come out of here? I really didn't mean to, um, I don't know why I grabbed this deck. Devotion came out. All right, I'm getting you're very, um, y'all very devoted to your spirituality. Why did I grab this deck? Anything want to come out? All right, unconditional love. Yeah, wow. You guys gave this ex a lot of love here. It's not you. You did not make him G-A-Y. He made himself that way. You are an un unconditional divine goddess. You are a goddess that represents like, divine love, unconditional love and grace. You are a goddess of divine love and grace. And this 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 ex and his friend was in denial about it and, and deceiving people about who you are in the physical. You you are in the physical. You like you are shaped like a goddess, look like a goddess, whether you thick, small, whatever. And the energy in, that you give off in, in the physical is goddess energy. You are a goddess of love and grace. Yeah. Y'all need to know that. Okay? They wanted your self-esteem to feel very low. Like you're not a goddess. You're not a divine being. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm grateful that y'all are here too. I didn't want to be on too long because I, I want to go be with my person. Yeah, and decisions came out twice. They made a decision to go after you because you are a divine goddess of love and grace. All right, and you and you carry um the Holy Spirit within you. You you carry a Holy Spirit. Your spirit is holy. Decisions came out twice. Oh no, this this friendship. I'm sorry, that's the wrong card. But it look kind of look like the card. But remember, decisions came out. So this friend made a false decision. They made this decision to attack you. You did not make them attack you. You did not do shit first. Their priority was to fucking attack you. That was their priorities. All right, and it's like they they claim their higher self pushed them to do it. Well, I don't feel like it was their higher self. I feel like it was a karmic community that pushed them to fucking attack you with this Barbado. And they thought they was going to celebrate taking you down that's what they believe that's what they thought 
Yeah, thank y'all for tapping. Y'all really blessed me today. Look, and now their mind restricted. They can't think of you the same way. Only way they can think of you is like what the fuck they did to you. All right, why are they facing karma because of what they did to you? Like, if they ever think of you, it's, it consists of their karma they're facing because of what they did to you, how the way they treated you, how they did you wrong. They can't think about, they can't think of you the same way they used to. Think of of you getting abused, beat up, attacked. None of that shit gonna work. Hell no. Your psychic awareness is on point. It definitely is top ten. It's up there. You have strong psychic divine gifts, and you deserve to celebrate. You know. Your gifts, you having these gifts, you you deserve to be like happy to have these gifts. You deserve to celebrate, like, hey, I have gifts. All right, don't feel shame because you have gifts. Celebrate that you have gifts. They want you to feel shame that you have gifts. This bullshit ass partner. This bullshit ass partner. Okay, that wanted you to go through death to teach you a lesson. Yeah, you had to lose your life. Yeah, you had to lose your soul. All right? Now you losing your life. You had to lose your fucking soul. Okay? In in order for you to lose the for, for you to learn your lesson. Lose that leadership role that that high rank that you have. Yeah. Vic, victory and leadership. This victory just giving me victorious. You are victorious. That's why you are high rank. All right, and, and listen, you deserve to put this shit to rest. You don't deserve to fucking lose yourself and be all fucked up because of their their bad decisions, their faulty decisions in your life. All right, it's fucking bad decisions. But yeah, you guys are a divine goddess of love and of and grace, unconditional love and grace. All right, unconditional love and grace. Okay, that's what I'm getting with here. Pleasure, divine goddess. And then we have unconditional love and grace. That represent you. People make bad decisions in, 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 in your life. All right? If that makes sense. They project bad decisions towards you and they want to blame you for it. Why they made such a bad decision after they fucking attacked you. And they even prayed to God to make certain bad decisions in your life. Asking God to make a bad decision in your life. Can you believe this? Some of y'all definitely could have um, separated from an abusive man. All right, this man, like, yeah, like, I feel like his judgment for you was to be abusive, okay? Like, he, or he wanted you to be abused, or, like, every thought of, 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 of his pertaining to you was, like, abusing you. Yeah. They're always coming at you with conflict. Like, they would, like, judge you a lot. They would judge you. And misjudge you. That's what I'm also getting. Like they will judge you a lot, and that would be like conflict. Like they was very judgmental, and when you expose them for being judgmental, that's when they will like lose their mind and want to fight you. Maybe they deserve to be with the same sex because look how the way they can't even like. I don't even see how that's gonna work out though. But they don't. They don't know how to treat a woman. Yeah, three of cups. So this is okay. I'm seeing a third party energy. Okay, so this this ex is definitely with a third party. All right, but this. X also didn't want to see y'all celebrating. I'm getting celebration energy with this. Okay? And like I said, on YouTube, you guys are meant to be celebrated. This ex didn't want to see you celebrate or reconcile with anyone else but them. Even though they hate you half the time. Okay? This is y'all being celebrated or, or y'all celebrating in good energy. Like y'all celebrating like the good energy that's around y'all. Somebody may, some of y'all may end up co-create like making a baby all right getting pregnant okay yeah very abusive yeah i see they wanted to think like you was um in third party energy like you or like you had a third party basically you were cheating they wanted to believe that you was cheating or that, like, somebody was even thinking, like, well, for some of you guys, this ex was thinking that your spirit guides was telling you to cheat or something like that. They wanted you to miss out on your, like, celebration. Like, they did not want you to celebrate. That's what I'm giving this three of cups. All right? I don't read reversals, but I do get, like, reversal energy, even though it's upright. And they didn't want you to celebrate. They didn't want you to be celebrated, or they didn't want you to celebrate. And, and or they didn't want you to celebrate. And they thought that you was you was in a third party situation, but like a masculine, if you're a feminine here, or you know vice versa. Anything else want to come out? Yeah, I feel like um for, strongly for a lot of y'all, 
that's here. Now you could be a masculine too that's here, but I feel like for my feminines, y'all was still y'all was dealing with like a stubborn masculine. All he cares about is what he wants. Okay, he's very stubborn though. And he thought and believed that you was cheating. Or he thought like you was a third party for someone else. Or somebody else energy as a third party. Yeah, like you in a whole nother relationship with someone else. Or you in a relationship with someone that's in a relationship, right? You in a relationship with someone that's in a relationship while you're with them. Now I'm seeing some of y'all meant to reconcile, all right, meet up. Or right, this reconciliation could be with someone who you never met this lifetime, but y'all reconciling from a past life. Y'all meant to reconcile, meet up, all right, with a real King of Pentacles, a reliable provider. King of Pentacles will be a provider. This is a man that's going to buy you a house, all right, build you a house, all right, give you money, buy you a car, provide, take care of you. Okay? And y'all meant to manifest a family with this person. This man, he coming very soon to court you. Yeah, this is a passionate new beginning in love. All right, he is on the way. It's coming. He is coming. All right, this is the truth. I can't make it up with the Ace of Swords, Temperance. Just keep being patient. All right, love is balancing out for you. The scales is balancing out for you. Okay? Damn, this false king of coins wanted to confuse you, make you think that it's him who you're meant to be with. Uh-uh. Even if so, not right now because he ain't he ain't working on his damn self. This could be y'all twin flame with that king of pentacles, four of swords. Yeah. This listen, this ex needs to heal. It could be certain other people around you that needs healing. But this ex needs to heal. They they they're not the one for you. I don't know why they keep trying to come in your energy. This bullshit friend need healing too. Then, yeah, they need healing. It's like a false twin. This ex was like a false twin or something like that. Ten of coins. Yeah, I feel like this bullshit ass ex only wanted to be with you because of what you can provide for him. What you can give. Like, you give, like, a lot of, um, with this ten of coins... It's not, I guess you, I, I don't want to say, it's not the word, stability is not the right word. Uh, well, you have a lot to offer, basically. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot to give, all right, and that may even include stability, a car, money, all right? And it's like, he may feel like you just broke up with him because he was broke. No, he is emotionally unstable, and he will turn you into bipolarness if you don't fucking get away now, okay? Basically, that was the vibe. Like, his energy was just too toxic, Him or she, you mean, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, why is this full of swords here? They trying to put, like, healing on you. Like, you need healing. That That's what I mean. Why is this full of swords here? Someone trying to put that on you, like, you need healing. I picked this up on YouTube. All right. Nine of Cups came out. Why is the full of swords here? All right, seven. I knew it. I knew it. The nine of cups. That was that was a fucking distraction. Like somebody was feeling smug. Like yeah, he he he. You know, I made her feel like you know she needs to heal and she's not worth it. And this the nine of cups will also be a gluttony person. All right, in reverse. So yeah, this gluttony person thought they was gonna be feeling smug, making you feel like you need to heal and you're insecure and you ain't good enough and you stink and all this extra shit. Look, no, sneaky bitches as well. Like I said on YouTube, trying to come at your energy and make you feel like you need healing. You need to heal. When they need to fucking heal. This That was a part of the projection. This could have been a friend. Make you feel like you need to heal. Or you you know, you're, you're, you're a bad friend. Okay? You're a fucked up person. You need to, like, have a better heart. People were lying on you. Make it seem like you need healing. Or you're the one that needs healing. Look, the Nine of Cups came right back. All right, gluttony. Yeah, this definitely could have been coming from the ex, making you try to make you feel insecure. This gluttony ass ex. All right, just so you won't move on towards new love. And now they're trying to make you feel like you you need all this healing. All right, and you restrict it because you need healing, and that's just untrue. That's not your healing. 
The healing that this false king of pentacles need is not your healing. He's trying to put his healing on you. All right, that healing journey that he have, he's meant to have, he's trying to put it on you. And he's going to have been fake friends as well, lying on you. And then in the end of their lives, they'll be like, she needs to heal or she just fucked up. You know, yeah, like she's been betrayed by so much and she needs to get over that. She needs to heal from that. And then some of these people want to pretend that like they don't they don't know what healing is. I never heard that. What is healing? What does need healing? That That's how you know that they're fucking stupid. Because even a person that don't know about that knows what it is. But they know what it is. Okay, yeah, your intuition let you know it's these three little karmics. All right, or more trying to make you feel like you need healing. Or these karmic friends or this karmic ex with this bullshit ass third party. Trying to make it make you feel like you're the problem. You need healing. You are the victim of. You are the victim of. Victimizing you guys. In the end. It's coming out that they trying to say that you need healing when they need fucking healing. Yeah. It's like it takes one to fucking no one. I mean it takes two to tango. Alright. First of all. This karmic is acting like it don't. Like it, it, it don't require them to do some bullshit too. If that makes sense like. You know, with that to take two to tango, they make it seem like their energy can't affect anything. Basically. Okay, their energy can't affect nothing when it's true. Their energy affected a lot of shit. And they making it seem like it was just you. It was honestly y'all was they just stupid. Yeah, victimize me and then saying you a victim. Exactly. Alright, four ones. I feel like just know y'all gonna be in like a uh a powerful relationship. I feel like this relationship is going to be strong. I don't know why I'm getting like big energy coming from this relationship. Y'all going to be manifesting big things. It's going to be a big house, a nice car, big body bins. All right. And Carmen's trying to make y'all feel like restricted still. Like y'all can't manifest this with this new person. Like this ex specifically. He like, you ain't going to manifest that with a, with a new person. Hell no. But yes, you are. Okay. Like y'all in the four walls and they in the four pinnacles. They owe karmic debt. You don't owe no karmic debt. Four of Wands would be celebration, abundance, all right, um, stability, success, all right. Four of Pentacles would be restrictions, all right, money pension, okay, someone that is stingy. Basically, they in restricted energy while y'all in free flow energy with that Four of Wands. Y'all in successful energy, they in restricted energy. And that's, that's what I'm picking up. God on his truth. All right, y'all could be intuitive empaths. Y'all meant to like heal people with your intuition. You're meant to heal people with your intuition. And I feel like you're here to also deliver um, the truth with this justice. May even deliver karma to people by the, by delivering the truth. Now certain people are going to reject that and say, oh, it's not true. That's not me. Or a certain family will say, that's not me. I'm not like that. Like for a lot of you guys, your family activated you. Your family was like the first. Well, activated you by through like okay activated you by showing you guys the truth about them they activated your your sole purpose by you seeing that they are the ones that's actively against your purpose you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna put that power on them they did not activate you like that but they they activated you to like the truth of all things like you you saw like this is what people do behind people back my family was like my first enemies my family was the first one that strike me with a candle y'all gonna be okay all right, but I feel like there is an offer coming that's going to lead you out to the Ten of Cups. Don't reject this offer. Don't allow the past to make you reject this offer. Ex accept it because it's a new passionate beginning. And this could be a new passionate beginning in love, okay? So don't let past love block new love from coming in, okay? But thank you guys so much for being here. I did not expect all you guys to come because it, it did start off growing small with the amount of people, but it, it, it grew. So, thank y'all for sharing, for the 54 shares. Thank y'all for the likes, the gifts. We got 71 people here, and I'm grateful all the time. I do be nervous to come on here. Thank you. I be so nervous to come on here sometimes because I know that they be projecting and throwing shots and trying to mess up my readings and trying to make me look stupid and dumb. But you guys are humble. Y'all not, like, weird. All right? So, it's okay. <laughs> y'all keep following your intuition. And, yeah, your, your karmas were jealous of you. All right? And especially that angry ass ex like angry angry as hell just angry it's angry yes yeah, so many projections if i'm not careful those projections will like take over the reading and then i'll start reading it as if it's true like 
sometimes when I do personals, I have to restart a bunch of times because I'm picking up nothing but projections. Nothing but projections. And I want to make sure I'm reading the energy right. And then sometimes the projections block and stop me from reading what's like block me from seeing and reading what's really there you get what i'm saying like i'm 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 feeling and hearing and seeing the projections but spirit is also showing me what's really going on and then sometimes that'll hold me back from seeing like what's really going on because of all these damn projections so i'll be having to just calm down that's why sometimes when i do the readings i'll take pause and breaks to make sure if this is a projection or if it's from spirit and if it is a projection why is it coming out this way all right spirit obviously is like using the this projection as a guide like a message you, if that makes sense, like, we're going to use this as guidance, okay? The guide, the collective, through this project, this projective moment. I made that word up, projective. <laughs> okay, but, um, I got to call my mom back. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, and I'm still getting used to the projections that I'll be feeling in the readings, too. Like, sometimes after I do the reading, I'll be like, damn, that was a projection I was feeling. It was just projections. But, you know, they don't even want, you know, they don't, I feel like the reason why the attacks is, like, hitting me hard because they don't want y'all to know. But I feel like they don't want y'all to know of the, like, be aware that these are projections. Like, this is all just a projection. They want you to believe, like, it's reality. You know what I mean? Which is wrong. So, they're definitely hitting y'all hard with a bunch of reject or pro um, projections that's being rejected. Okay? But, um, you're welcome, T. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the reading. Thank you guys for being here. I love y'all. Y'all gonna see the full on YouTube. Okay, and thank y'all for the 62,000 likes. We was close to 72. If I would've stayed longer, we would've gotten there. But we went on for two hours and 21 minutes, so I gotta go. I love you guys. Bye. And thank y'all for all the, the, of course, the gifts, the shares, right? And the, the goals, too, and my subscriptions. <laughs>